And while Brad Pitt has been busy promoting Ocean's 12 in Japan, back in Los Angeles, Jennifer Aniston has been putting on a brave face as well. Mm -hmm. These pictures show a seemingly happy Jennifer. One shot even captures a newly naked ring finger. Oh, jeez. All right, don't jump to conclusions. The missing marriage marker may simply be for her role in the film in which she plays a single woman. What do you mean, don't jump to conclusions? She... <laughs> They've been talking all week. How she got split up with her husband, you asshole. What is he talking about? I have no idea. Why is he saying don't jump to conclusions? He's an idiot. Yeah, I think they may be broken up. <laughs> Shouldn't have a ring on. What is he talking about? He doesn't watch this whole show the whole week. I know. He Has he been know. sleepwalking through the whole week? He must have They been. split up. <laughs> News All right, to don't jump to conclusions. The missing marriage marker may simply be for her role in the film in which she plays a single woman. Right. Now, we do know that Jennifer was spotted later in the day with the ring back on. Oh, oh. well, if you had a seven-carat diamond, you might put it back on, too. <laughs> yeah. Now, why is it so warm in here? It's going to make me angry it's this freezing. morning. freezing. You're cold? I am freezing. You're a weirdo. No, I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you know if you were? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Well, actually, maybe I am a weirdo because right. I hang out with you guys every oh, day. Okay, oh, so now you're admitting you're a weirdo, but you're putting it on us. That's fine. <laughs> Only for four hours a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And she's perfectly normal when she goes on. Right. Oh, she's weird all right now. She'd have made that comment at home. She'd have been perfectly sane. Is it is the temperature down to the it lowest it can, it can get or yes, what? Yes, yes. As always, as usual. Yes, I always demand. It is a demand <laughs> that the thermostat be put at its lowest possible temperature. Twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, 20, all year round. Sixteen degrees. <laughs> Just the way I like it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Works well in the summer, but the winter? Mm. Well, I feel a little uh, warm, by the way, but well, all right. No. If you're okay, or well, you're cold. I'm cold. Are you all right, well then, something? between the two of us, we're fine. All right. All right. No, I'm not, Stephen. Your twins oh, are I'm good? Not. How are the twins? Twins are good. Twins and your, are good. And your new kids? Uh, yeah, they're, they're good, too. Oh, good. Everyone's good in the house? Everybody's good in the house. Mm -hmm. Birthday today. A oh, birthday today? Yes. Well, when you have five kids, Terry, it's always a birthday. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so I'm not Jay, impressed. It's Jay is it's, ninth. Wow, Terry. Ninth, wow. Yes. I remember the day it happened. <laughs> no. Her ninth? Wait, what it happened? That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think Terry got this job. Ninth, <laughs> ninth birthday. Ninth birthday. Our little girl's all grown up. She is. Mm, she's in what, third, second grade? Uh, she is in third grade. Third grade. Man, yeah. you have so many kids, you have to think about it. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> Which one is she? Uh, oh, I can't picture her right now. Uh, See, so she was in third last year, too. Yeah, third grade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's great that she get left back in last year? Let's see. Oh, now? Is she a bright young lady? Actually, she is. She's in a combined class of You 30. sound surprised. Actually, she is. <laughs> I, I, don't know how, I don't know how this happened, Mr. T-Man. Right. I don't. The teachers are pretty amazed. I'm amazed. Everyone seems pretty amazed. Yeah. All right. She's in a combined class of third, fourth, and fifth graders. Is that right? Is that yes. something new, or is that... Uh, um, it's called uh, GATE, which is Gifted and Talented Education. Oh, oh yeah. I remember those classes. Right. They had those so, back in our day, too. I wasn't yeah. impressed by those kids. Whatever, Anyhow, yeah. whatever keeps the parents happy. Right. <laughs> right. Whatever, your kid's very gifted. Whatever boosts the confidence of the parents <laughs> yeah. is what it's all about. Every so, kid's gifted, by the way. Have you gotten your uh, your bumper sticker for your car that says, I'm the parent of a gifted and talented child? No. Because if you, as soon as you do, let me know so I can run you off the road when I see it. <laughs> okay. That's what I do when I see those stickers, too. All right. Gifted and t is that all through the h entire school day or just one class? No, it's it's it, the whole school year. It's the whole the school, school year, yeah. every day. She's with third, fourth, and fifth graders. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Is everybody in the school in that? No, oh, just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wonder because it's... Well, so a fifth grade boy is like, hey, check out the younger babe. There. <laughs> is that the deal or what? Well, I, I guess it could be, but knowing Jan, she's probably like, yeah, whatever. All right. <laughs> She's not into boys? No. Do you get concerned that you have a third grade daughter now and she has yet to find an interest in boys? No. You're not concerned? Not at all. Oh, you're not concerned that she may turn out to be no. a... Yeah. Mm -mm. No! <laughs> oh. yeah. Come on. How do you spell that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terry, I, I'm just saying that, uh, hey, if... I think it's pretty natural at this stage that, no, you know... No, you know by... If you asked gay phone operator... Well, that's gay would, phone would, operator. Well, no, I'm just telling you that uh, you... It, it's determined whether you like boys or girls by first, second grade, Terry. Sure. All right? Yes. Now, now, has she shown you? You're saying she's shown no interest in boys. Well, it's well. I mean, she has friends that are boys, sure, but it's not but she like has, she's, not, she's not a boy chaser, I guess, like well, Alexia chaser. is. Chaser. All right. Oh. <laughs> has she ever said to you, "I like so and so in my class"? 
No. And her name was Gabrielle. No. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Well, I don't think her concentration is there. I don't even think she really thinks about it. Well, so she may be a school. she may turn out to be a potato salad Dave type. <laughs> she may <laughs> the asexual individual she, she Terry. Wow. Be. Because the stat that you read, I, I I remember it, Terry. It was a few months ago. You read me a statistic that said ten percent of the world's population is asexual. Yes, and we, and it we, was shattering to think about. We determined what potatoes, potato oh, salad Dave in there. I don't know. He hasn't uh, committed either way. One out of, uh, well, he denied it, I think, actually, at the time, potato salad Dave. Well, it's better than he'd be gay, right? Right. <laughs> one out of, uh, I don't know, one, you have to ask him. One I out like, of, I don't one, like chicks, but I definitely don't like guys. <laughs> <laughs> one out of ten people, are you kidding me, don't have an interest in either sex? That doesn't make sense. No. Anyway, I'm just saying, Terry, that third grade, she should be mentioning a boy or two. Okay. All right. All right. Or you I'll should get her one her for, for now, her ninth birthday. Would you be the type of parent, and, uh, and still the, in this day, Terry, it's the majority of parents that frown upon their kids or, or hope that their kids are not homosexuals. Would you be a type of parent that would be bothered if your daughter, it turns out she's a homosexual daughter? Um, no, Wrong. I don't know. Actually, I, I quite honestly I can't say I, I would Raised love in her. Eastern Washington. I would oh, yeah. love her Two anyway. White parents. Yeah, I'm not saying. Oh, okay, thanks. No, but I mean, you know, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm not going to accept you or anything like that. I mean, sure, I think everybody, you know, every person would probably be, feels like. Would oh, Would there be open discussion under your roof about her gayness? Absolutely. The, uh huh. Absolutely. Would you promote her gayness uh, and uh, accept be, it with open arms? Yes, I would. Wow. would you call her her gayness. Oh, jeez. My gay daughter's in the gate program. <laughs> well, you have a bumper sticker that says, My lesbonic daughter is in the gifted and talented program. Yes. Wow. All right. But well, I think if she came to you now on her ninth birthday and said, I think that I'm gay, I think you might have a problem with it. You think? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, What do you even know of that? Uh huh. Uh huh. I learned it from watching you, Mom. <laughs> Parents who are gay. It's how kids who are gay. All right. All right, anyway, <laughs> what's going on in the world, Terry? Congratulations and happy birthday to your fine young daughter. Yeah, you used to play <laughs> just, uh, just a, Ask the Baby. Yes, just a couple of moments ago, she was the youngest in your family. Yeah, she was. Now <laughs> she's not even close. No. She's, uh, and then Monday is, is Alexia's birthday. Yeah. Jaya B. Free, <laughs> named by a listener, by the way. Yes. Jaya B. Free mm -hmm. was named by some lady out there who Lord only knows where she is right now. Yeah. She called in and named Terry's baby. Really? Yeah. Yes. Pretty cool. It's pretty interesting that you let a, a listener name your child, hmm? but it's a nice name. It is. I remember the day she called in and came up with the name for your baby. Mm hmm. And she won the prize. <laughs> Nine years later, the magic is still happening. Yeah. It was either Jay or Marlboro Man oh, yeah. with all the two choices, <laughs> or John John. What a. <laughs> What else, Terry? What's Got some going news on? for you about Jessica Simpson. Apparently, uh, she recently snubbed autograph seekers while getting her hair done at a New York City salon called Adir Salon. Uh, she was a little upset because the stylist that she wanted wouldn't come in uh, to work on her hair because it was his day off. Mm. So that's why well, that can be like, frustrating for anyone, Terry. Yeah, she was like, "Forget signing autographs." I know uh, when Stephen goes to his hairdresser and demands that they come in on uh, their day off, he'll he'll tear up the place too. Oh, no, and he won't Steven. he won't sign autographs <laughs> because you're responsible to sign autographs at your hairdresser's uh, little joint. Oh yeah, salon. on request. Well, I mean, people come from all over, you know, to that's just, right, just to see that they stake out. The hairdresser spot that Jessica Simpson goes to, and mm -hmm. they demand autographs, and they're entitled to them. Ah. So Jessica was wrong, obviously, in not signing uh, autographs while she was under the big hair dryer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you picture Jessica under the big hair dryer? <laughs> you know those things are they're they're almost back now, or they made well, a little run. Well, they are back. Well, I mean, they, people still use them. Uh, yeah, but they. they I, I, fine. Not with it. I mean, it's not like with a big bear, beehive, you know, mm -hmm. get the big curlers and all that kind of stuff. Yes. But, yeah, people use them. Well, Jessica can breathe easy and know that three years from now she won't be signing autographs anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no one will over. care. <laughs> It'll all be over. She'll be doing our hair. <laughs> <laughs> the T-Man. This Sunday... Hey, Moss is fine, and we'll show you why. Of course, I'm sure you've seen the play by now. Moss came down by the NFL as expected. He was fine, 
some $10,000, not because of the catch, but because of the antics afterwards. And today he was asked about the fine. Mm. Did, did you see the play, Terry? Were you watching on uh, Sunday? When the Vikings beat the Packers and Randy Moss scored a second touchdown, which pretty much sealed the deal, mm -hmm. and then he makes like he's dropping his pants. He uses his hands to simulate uh, the way he would unbuckle his trousers and lower them, but he, he didn't do anything. No, it was no big deal. It was funny. I was laughing my ass off. Yeah. He got fined $10,000 by the NFL, which stands for the No Fun League, mm -hmm. obviously. And yeah. uh, some reporters were asking him some questions yesterday. Were you upset about the fine? No, because it ain't it ain't up for 10 grand. What's 10 grand to me? <laughs> Next time I might shake my Mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard most of that. Actually, there was a few lines before that. I have the transcript right here. Wow. Between Randy Moss and reporters yesterday. Uh, courtesy of KARE-TV in Minneapolis, Terry. Mm -hmm. Minneapolis. Uh, a reporter said, quote, have you written the check yet, Randy? And Randy Moss responds, when you're rich, you don't write checks. Oh, wow. Stephen, you can confirm that? Oh, uh, yeah. That's you're right. The crazy. reporter then went on to say, if you don't write checks, how are you going to pay the NFL? Randy Moss responds, straight cash, homie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then wow. the reporter said what you might have heard. I don't know if it was very audible on the tape there. Randy, are you upset about the fine? And he responds, no, because it ain't. And then the S word. Mm -hmm. No, because it ain't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ain't nothing but 10 grand. What's 10 grand to me? Ain't, and then the S word again. Right. Next time, I might shake my dick. Wow. Oh. Go so, ahead, so Randy. Let's, let's hear that. Wow, Terry's <laughs> interested. Yeah. Terry will pay you 10 grand for that. Watch the football my, this weekend. My only thing is, <laughs> can, God, braid up the hair and then shake it. You can get your 10 grand back from Terry Free <laughs> if you do that in front of her <laughs> at the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field. Yeah. Mm hmm. Ah. You, you didn't like the nappy look last week, Terry? No, it gets a little crazy for me. I, I mean... So you saw when he... Oh, yeah. Simulated, I the whole game. Simulated the mooning situation. Yes, I did. And, and like you, I, I was it cracking was up. It was funny! <laughs> I was what like... What did they fight him for? <laughs> it was better than anything T.O. has done. Yeah. True. Bad. Well, okay, let's listen to that last part of the conversation between reporters and Randy Moss uh, yesterday uh, afternoon. Are you upset about the fight? No. I don't know why this TV station puts Dream Weaver in the background. Yeah. It's, it's, if anything, it's just distracting, but that's the instrumental you're hearing in the background. And that's this is the only audio on the Randy Moss situation we have right now, so we got to tolerate this. Are you upset about the fight? No, because it ain't, it ain't number 10 grand. What's 10 grand to me? Next time I might shake my <laughs> Next time I'm, I might shake my dick. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> There you go. It was worth every penny to Randy Moss I for so. making like he was mooning all of Green Bay. Because yeah. all of Green Bay was there, Terry. Oh, I know they were. They, they, if, you the ever wanna, like, if you ever want to pull the big heist on the city of Green Bay, <laughs> they do it on a Sunday when they're all at the game. Yeah. And that's actually kind of interesting because Plexico Burris, who plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm, I'm surprised, honestly. I read this uh, in a newspaper early <laughs> this week, or it was like Monday or Tuesday, or maybe uh -huh. it was last week. I can't remember. But some dude broke into his apartment. I guess he's a single guy, lives uh, in an apartment building. Some dude broke into his apartment when he knew he was at the game <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> what? He's at the stadium. <laughs> the dude knew, okay, he's not going to be home. Yeah. Jeez. A little busy. And he robbed his house. Wow. Robbed his, robbed his apartment. Took a lot of jewelry and stuff. I bet. Whoa. They caught the guy because oh. uh, a nosy neighbor nearby called 911. Love those nosy neighbors, yeah, don't you? In that situation. <laughs> Luckily, he had a nosy apartment living neighbor who called 911 and heard some guy breaking into uh, Plexigo Burris' apartment. But I, when I read it, I'm thinking, man, how confident are you? That the guy's not going to be there when you know he plays NFL football right. on Sunday. No kidding. And you see him on TV. Right. right. <laughs> I just ripped off his house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he needs to get a dog. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> a big nasty one. <laughs> <laughs> or a home watcher. I'm surprised. I was just, when I read that, I was thinking, man, I can't believe this doesn't happen more often. Yeah. yeah. When you know a player's at a game, go knock it over his house. Well, all of Green Bay could be taken out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when the Packers are playing on Sunday. Problem yes. is you gotta find something you want in Green Bay. <laughs> right. No, it's true.
They and are. I don't know if that little uh, fake cheese head thing is very <laughs> right. valuable. Yeah, they are loyal fans, that's for sure. Uh, so, Randy Moss, it doesn't mean anything to him. The 10 grand, Terry. Wow. Okay. It don't mean... Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. I'll take that. Oh, jeez. You'd like the 10 grand? <laughs> yeah, sure, but it well, doesn't you, mean anything you, to you're you. You're not making enough money these days, Terry. <laughs> You well, who you wouldn't want you, 10 grand? You haven't moved into a big enough house yet. <laughs> no, nope, not yet. Are you upset about the fight? No, because it ain't It ain't nothing 10 grand. What's 10 grand to me? It ain't shit. Next time I might shake my <laughs> I have a question as in regards to, you know. Shaking your dick? No. Oh. Darn it. <laughs> The NFL. We're all experts on that. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yeah, sure. We mastered that concept a long time ago. Is it true that like teams um, actually like have fines for players when like they miss a tackle, things like that? No, okay. I don't know what your coach of your son is doing. No, in this I, little no, I, just, league, Terry. I, I don't. I, He's taking his fun dip away every no, time he misses a tackle. No, no, no. I, oh. I didn't. I, for some reason, Does your son I heard eat fun that. dip, Terry. No. Oh, okay. Does he know what fun dip is? I don't even know what fun dip is. It's like the little different flavored powders and a yeah. little white oh, stick that you stick yeah. in there. Oh. I just had it for the first time in like 15 years the other day. <laughs> it's good stuff. And it was fun, huh? Then you eat the stick. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like vanilla flavored. Oh, it is? I like cherry and grape in the this, the standard traditional flavors. But anyway. Oh, I mean the stick itself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. the stick. Yeah, the stick. Oh, the stick, <laughs> well, the stick is, is straight sugar. About. If you want to call it vanilla flavored, fine. And I used to eat the, the pouch, too, the paper pouch that it came in. <laughs> well, that's because you get really hungry. Oh, okay. But uh, most people do not eat the paper pouch. Okay. You're supposed to take it out of the pouch? <laughs> yes, you are. Right. You're supposed to spoon it out with the, uh, with the, stick. the vanilla stick. Right. Yeah, the but vanilla you have to lick stick. the stick first, right? Of course. Oh. The stick dissolves right before your very mouth. Okay, there you go. Uh, so I, I have never heard of uh, a player okay. missing a tackle and well, I thought having to pay massive fines, Terry. Okay. Well, they, I didn't why? say massive fines. I mean, like, you know, to the to the coach or whatever, mm. offensive coach or Nip. whatever. Why was so, Terry Bradshaw and all those guys so mad at Randy Moss for that? Yeah. I don't know why they were making such a big deal about it. I know. They want to make sure everyone is kept in line and no one is. I, I thought it, it was. But didn't Howie Long, I mean, when he played, he was just like a uh, tiger. Or, I mean, he oh, just geez. was like. Oh. I mean, he was like Maybe one of those mean guys, right? In your, when private, he played? In your private thoughts, Terry. I don't know. <laughs> But there should be a good weekend of football on Slate. Yeah. For Saturday and Sunday, mm. will Peyton Manning finally get over the hump against the New England Patriots? And what about the Seahawks? What will they do? <laughs> they should be playing this weekend. I agree. And if they were playing, if the Seahawks were playing the game that they rightfully should be playing in Atlanta this weekend... If Minnesota were to go on and upset the Philadelphia Eagles, then the NFC Championship game would have been here in Seattle. Wow. Against a beatable team. Against a beatable Randy Moss mooning team. Oh, but that's not going to happen. Because the Seahawks couldn't win in their own building. Ooh, that's right. With their fancy head coach yeah. that promised us a Super Bowl a long time ago. Yeah. And hasn't even won a playoff game! The Walrus Man! But he keeps talking about what great accomplishments the team has been having. I, I just, for some reason, don't see them. <laughs> uh -huh. ah, that's an accomplishment. All the home games were on TV this year. That was good. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Selling out. High expectations, huh? There you go. No blackout. Last year's record was 10-6. Uh, and six. This year's record was 9-7. and seven. And yet, Coach Holmgren will stand up in front of the microphone saying what a positive step in the right direction the team has made this year. Right. <laughs> you do the math. I'm, I guess, confused. One more year of him? Is that what's going to happen Well, Terry's year? got two more on his contract. The really? Wal you mean the Walrus Man? Yeah. Yes, he's wow. got uh, two more years on his contract. He uh. signed a, a lifetime contract, which has two years left. Jeez. Yes. Okay. Given his weight, he has two years left. <laughs> what else is going on, Terry, besides football this weekend? Angelina Jolie again. What's itching me on my neck here? Uh, the tag, maybe? Maybe it's the tag. Take that out. Okay. Anyway, Angelina Jolie apparently gets a lot of fan mail from... Oh, no, it's just dirt, Terry. Oh, great. <laughs> and you give gay phone operator a hard time about... Oh, yeah, what about... Oh, by the way... Uh-oh. There is some rumors going around through the radio grapevine about a gay a phone a operator Very and nice. this supposed illness... That he's been suffering from over the past three days. Oh boy! Oh, come on. Okay. I don't you know nothing about it. No. Uh, maybe I do. I don't well, we so. all know 
has confirmed yesterday on the program that he missed his third consecutive day of work yesterday. You know that part. Right. Right. But there is a wild and vicious rumor going around wild through the radio rumor. grapevine <laughs> about gay phone operator and this alleged illness of his. Oh, wow. Man. Should I call him now, let him get a little bit of beauty sleep as he prepares to uh, embark on day four of the illness? Or No, I want to know now. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, what, what were you about to? You, I was going to tell you about Angelina Jolie and okay. how she apparently gets a lot of fan mail from lesbian uh, women oh, who think that she's gay. The lesbian women think that Angelina Jolie is gay using yes. their gaydar. Yes. They have uh, had it gone off a couple of times or more mm -hmm. when Angelina Jolie is nearby. Right. All right. And she's not bothered by it all right. at all, which is, you know, I mean, in fact, she says she kind of giggled about it. And she's, you know, she says, I'm not complaining. So she likes, she doesn't yeah, mind she getting doesn't the mind it. lesbonic email, fan mail, all right. that stuff, talking about what the lesbian ladies want to do to her. Yeah, I guess not. She welcomes it. She says, bring it on. I enjoy it. It's, uh, it's part of the fun of being a celebrity. I guess. With so. big lips. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm hmm. Yep. Well, that's a nice way to take it if mm -hmm. she's gay or not gay. Yeah. And I don't think she would uh, shoo away the, the hot woman for a little uh, bit of a moment there. She doesn't seem like the type. She so pretty, whether, pretty you can, whether you <laughs> yeah. consider that less bonnick or not, you do the math. That's twice that I've said you do the math this morning. I don't make you. Uh, I don't want to make you do that much math this morning, ladies well, and gentlemen. But uh, there is some needed to be done. Everybody's waking up, going, "Geez, I'm back in school." There are some people listening right now that yeah. would consider the fact that uh, Angelina Jolie might dabble in a woman here or there as a as a lesbonic type situation. Right. Whether she wants to say I'm not a lesbian or not, that's that's her thinking. But she likes the male, mm -hmm. and she likes the. The graphic diagrams that people include at the bottom of the doesn't exactly of the notebook paper that is sent her way, Terry. You oh. enter here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why you like the lesbians emailing you. That's right. <laughs> I know what the lesbians do when they write fan mail, Terry. Okay. They write you little doodles. <laughs> little doodles. <laughs> little doodles. That's right. <laughs> Stephen knows from a little doodle. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, little doodles. So she's not uh, put off at all. No, she's not, not saying she's not coming out and saying, "Hey, don't be Maybe writing me know. anymore. I'm not a lesbian." She's no. saying, "Hey, continue writing. <laughs> I'm enjoying." Yeah. The not complaining. Don't mind it at all. I don't have any problem with the little doodle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, Stephen, when your fans write or email you, oh yeah, what kind of doodles are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they're actually medium-sized doodles. Mm hmm. You should see him. Mm. I don't get fan mail. What are you talking about? Oh, jeez. <laughs> when King and Rover and uh, and Spot and Rex, when they, well, after hearing about you and your escapades, when they email or write you, what kind of doodles are they are they putting down on the paper with the, the three circles that they have to write with there? With, with them, it's duties, probably. Oh, jeez. It's not doodles. Yeah. All right. Terry, let me take a break. All when right. I get back, Ooh. I will address these vicious, wild, and out of control Yay. rumors circulating through the radio grapevine uh, regarding gay phone operator and this supposed illness. Okay. Well, supposed now, now. Now, did you start the well, rumor? I, I, no. I say <laughs> supposed because based on this rumor, uh -huh. it calls everything into question. Whoa. Whoa. I, I said wait. everything into question. What's that, David? Oh my! Hey, hey, you're calling everything into question. Oh, <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat, though. I can't deal with it. The weirdest guy. <laughs> the T-Man. T-Man. Yes. I got the numbers, baby. See that? The dot dot dollar bill game. All right, T-Man. All right. One zero six nine three seven four one eight. Rick, sounds to me like you are a winner. <laughs> Win a new Hyundai. Timberon. From Eastside Hyundai. And $93,000. Oh, man. If you've seen the bucket I was rolling right now, you'd give me that car. Hey, don't talk about Amber that way. She's carrying your child. <laughs> <laughs> dollar bill game at 724 and 8. 293. I made it to you, man. <laughs> So I got an email yesterday, Terry. Yeah. 
from somebody out there in the listening audience. Apparently, gay phone operator was spotted about town yesterday. You mean the sick guy? Uh, the, the man who was so sick, he couldn't go to work for a third straight day. Too. Right, because he felt like crap. A gay phone operator, you tell me. Is yeah. there any truth to the rumor that I heard through the radio grapevine? I love saying that, <laughs> Through the radio grapevine that you were out getting a fancy haircut yesterday? Ooh. Uh, on the way home from the doctor's, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, that's how you worked it. Yeah, it was just a convenient stop. Sure it was. Convenient stop on the way back from the doctor. You know, that throw culture is so unsettling, you have to get a haircut to bounce it out. Right. Right. So you want us to believe that the only reason you left your house yesterday, because my point is, and not that it's the biggest deal in the world, but if you're too sick to go to work, especially for your third straight day, you would assume that you're too sick to even leave your house, right. unless it's going to the doctor. You're too sick to uh, to do anything, but he spotted yesterday in some little crackerjack barber shop, all right, mm -hmm. getting a, a fancy little haircut. Wow. New style American haircut. <laughs> That's all I did yesterday. I went to the doctor, I got my haircut, and I came home. Mm -hmm. If you're too sick to go to work for a third straight day, you don't sit there in a little chair getting a little off the sides and a, <laughs> a little off the top <laughs> and a little in the rear. Wow. All right. I'm arguing with you. What? I'm arguing with you. I needed my haircut. I oh, you needed there. your haircut, but you didn't need to go I to work. Home. Okay, we see the, where the priorities are. Ridiculous. I couldn't believe right. it when I heard it. But, 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 but wait I a knew, minute. And yet I knew it was true. Didn't didn't he say though that he had no money to his name because that's why he couldn't get any Theraflu or Nyquil? How did you pay for a haircut? I didn't have to pay for it. Why is that? Because my roommate paid for it. Uh -huh. Oh. Your roommate who is still your cousin, right? Yeah. Your cousin says, "Screw the Theraflu. Let's go get yeah. haircuts." Right. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Right. Always makes me feel better. <laughs> Unbelievable. I got antibiotics uh, my doctor Terry, yesterday. If, if there was any reason that you needed more confirmation that he's been faking this all week. Yeah. Because he's tired of work, mm. had it up there, and doesn't want to go, this is it. Wow. He's out getting a little bit of a haircut yesterday when he should be in bed. Yeah, when Getting you're... well so he can go to work the next day. Mm -hmm. What do you think when you call in sick and you go to work and then you have a new haircut, they, they will question that? <laughs> Okay. And you're all tan. Well, if you're you're not planning to go to work anytime soon, they're not <laughs> yeah, gonna <laughs> they're not gonna notice. <laughs> It'll be long by the time he yeah. gets back. I mean, geez, mm -hmm. this is a three day weekend too, so hey. Right. Oh, look at your manicure too. <laughs> Monday's MLK day. Right. He just had, he just oh. set himself up with a seven day weekend. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> took, a, took a little vacation. Well, Gay, let me ask you this: <laughs> Are you planning on going to work today, or are you too damn sick to even leave the bed? I'm not going to work. Oh, mm -hmm. hey. oh Unbelievable. But, hey, he'll okay, be out about just, later. Why, why don't you just write a letter of resignation, tell me no longer interested in working there, because that's obviously the case. You're not that sick, obviously, if you're getting haircuts yesterday. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Did, well, you, you, did you get a haircut yesterday or not? Yes, I Then did. I know what I'm talking about. If you went no, to you any kind of barber, salon, or wherever the hell you go to get your little red-headed do <laughs> chopped down, well, then you're not that sick. I mean, why would you want to contaminate your barber and everybody else in there if you're sick? I need my haircut. It's been three months. I Ooh, you wow. know what? I understand that. But seriously, when you're sick, you I mean, really, you don't... When it you're doesn't si matter. If you're sick, if your hair's a little long, it's not that big a deal if you've got other... Uh, I don't yeah. want to go through this. Three months and three days really would have put you over the edge, mm -hmm. you know? I was down in the area. I didn't want to go back out later. <laughs> By the way, we haven't confirmed that he saw any doctor yesterday, all right? He just wanted to throw that in, maybe, right. to make, oh it, make his haircut seem like it was a little bit more logical. Give us... He said he got antibiotics, though. What kind of antibiotic are you on, Gay? The Z-Pack. The what? It's called the Z-Pack. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get it at 7-Eleven, and oh, it's got geez. all these oh, vitamins I'm in it. I'm not going to deal with this day. I don't feel good. Oh, jeez. Well, why should you feel bad? You got a fresh new haircut. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, geez. It probably doesn't help you yelling like that. Mm -hmm. You and have a sore throat. <laughs> <back on the laughs> wow, that is amazing. All I know is that the listeners are all over it, Terry. They are. Spotting, uh, spotting him at some gay little barbershop on Capitol Hill.
And uh, with the description they gave me, it was pretty clear it was <laughs> yeah, gay phone operator. Yeah, Unless no there's doubt. someone out there impersonating a 400-pound redheaded gay man. 5'2". <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he doesn't blend very well. <laughs> it's not uh, like he's able to wow. camouflage himself in any way, Terry. And what, Five foot two, four hundred pounders mm -hmm. up on Capitol Hill getting their hair cut with red hair, mm -hmm. <laughs> cute chubby bottom. <laughs> What's interesting too is antibiotics, which if he got yesterday, usually kick in pretty quick. Right. I mean, and you can go to work. Terry, if there's any need to find flaws in this supposed illness he has, I, I don't think it's there at this time. I think it's pretty clear. If he's well enough to go get his, his fancy haircut, mm -hmm. he's well enough to go to work, but he doesn't want to. Okay. He, he, you hear the words he said? He needed to get a haircut. That's why he got a haircut. Right. He doesn't need to go to work. Obviously not. Who does? Yeah. So instead of asking his, his roommate or cousin to buy some Theraflu, why don't you pay for my haircut? Mm -hmm. If you're ever going to loan somebody 10 bucks, it's probably going to be for medicine okay. more than a haircut. Right. <laughs> Jeez. But he'll feel better at 5.30 today all through... <laughs> Martin Luther King Day. That's right. right. <laughs> I wish, wish work was here today. Mm. No, he's got a fancy lunch date at noon. He needs to go to that, though. Boy, oh, boy. I didn't know a haircut was a life or death situation. <laughs> I, didn't I need to get it done. It's been three months. Whoa. <laughs> this is the only time they could fit me in. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Jeez. Oh, boy. <sighs> I, don't, I, I know that I get frustrated with him. I can only imagine how his employers get to oh, I know. here in this crap. Right. But he claims that he's a hard worker and a good worker. Right. When, when he's there. He also <laughs> claims he's going to get me down to 225, Terry. And oh, yeah. <laughs> yet he's and surging get, upward. And getting that 30 grand from you. Yeah, right. Well, I guess we'll just leave him alone. Okay. Well, you warned him when they, when they called you for a reference. If he wants to get his hair cut, then let him get his hair cut. Okay. Just made no sense to me that he's claiming how sick he is, how he couldn't leave the bed, and all of a sudden he's spotted getting a haircut. Mm -hmm. And instead of denying it because he knows we have him dead to rights, it was on the way back from the doctor. Whatever. The doctor that he vis visits in the alley? <laughs> that has only nighttime hours? I think z -Pack is uh, an antibiotic, but that doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. He knows his drugs. He just watches ads for it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm on Cialis. Oh, wait, no, hold on a second. No, no wrong one. Um, z pack Yeah, that one. You're on the air. Hello. Good morning. Morning. Yes. Dude, I'm a garbage man, and mm -hmm. I'm out here sick, working in this weather. Why well, can't that pansy ass go into an office and huh? type on a computer and answer a phone, for Christ's sake? <clears throat> so it makes you a little frustrated to hear that uh, he's too sick to go to work but not get a haircut. And uh, you are very much under the weather, and you're out there doing physical labor to a large extent, and, and you're sucking it up and making it happen. Yep, I figure sometimes you just got to be a man. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Wrong person. <laughs> wow. Right. Mm-hmm. Who's that on the hotline? Is that gay? Who? Oh, John John. Well, he's late this morning. Wow. Or has he been on all day? And that's, just, that's oh, he's the second just, line. He's just calling the second hotline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's on hold on the first. And he doesn't get on quick enough on the first hotline. He starts calling the second hotline. Right. Definitely has something important to say. And John sure. John, you wait your turn. I'm waiting my turn. You know what? You I know what, gay? I, I do believe in my. This will be the first time over what, three years I'm going to stick up for him. But, gay. You know what? If you can go out and get a haircut, and I believe between you and Hotshot Scott and yourself, y'all can squeeze grilled cheese sandwiches between each other's fat asses. <laughs> what? Yeah. And we'll call it cream cheese by the time. All right. Well, this is too long a, a statement. You're on the air. Hello. Hey, T Mag. Good morning. How are you? You don't want to know where it was going? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just I not expecting a dramatic conclusion. <laughs> uh, go ahead, sir. Dude. I'm a garbage man, too, and I say the story. I'm out here, sicker than a dog, have been for a week. There's something going around amongst garbage men, Terry. <laughs> I know. Everybody well, be yeah, careful. Breathing, breathing crappy diapers all day, I guess, right? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You've been by my house. <laughs> no, but just the same thing. I'm, I mean, all he has to do is go to work. Anybody can make that raspy voice. I'm so sick. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. That's pretty good, sir. You're entitled to stay home <laughs> yeah, for, for seven days yeah, now. Want a free haircut? Get your fat ass to work. Sit there wow. and talk. Kind of like what you were doing a second ago. Oh, Jesus. It's, <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. The gay is raising the ire amongst garbage men, Terry. I know that. All right? Oh, my goodness. Something tells me gay phone operator wouldn't want to let his garbage pile up. No. If no. the garbage men decided to become uh, in a stance where they refuse to take his... 
his garbage away, Terry. Yeah, that would be That could be pretty nasty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he better think twice about what he's doing, because he's getting under the skin oh, geez. of all garbage men, it sounds like, Terry, who are all out there busting their ass right now mm-hmm. with 101 degree temperatures. Yeah. Meanwhile, the only thing about him that's normal is his temperature. <laughs> <laughs> and he's at home faking being sick, getting new haircuts, and looking all great. Too <laughs> 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 sexy. Uh, 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 not there our whole time at customer service is ten minutes longer now. <laughs> right. <laughs> at whatever place he works at, yes. Right. I hope he's. How, how could he be well enough to go get a haircut yesterday and still claim he's not well enough to go to work today, Terry? I, I don't know. I, I really... I, I was sure. I was going to guarantee that based on me finding out about this haircut, Terry, that he was definitely going to go to work today. He right, couldn't right. He couldn't find a reasonable excuse to stay home today. And yet, oh, I'm too sick. Wow, you do well, that voice good, well. Yeah. You should go home, Terry. Yeah, go notice. home. I can, I can have seven days off. <laughs> yeah. So is this his fourth sick day or third? This is his fourth in a row. And you combine that with the three-day weekend, it's a nice seven-day weekend. It's it's rarely more than two days sick. I mean, there's nothing you can't beat in like two days. Right. Or at least start to get better. No, 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 because he didn't have any money to get all the medicines. Uh Remember? We just talked about that. But he has uh, no problem with letting his cousin pay for his fancy new haircut. Right. Right. (laughs) It better be a good one. Mm -hmm. He knows he's got to look good for the four walls that house his illness. (laughs) Yeah. It's got to look good on the webcam tonight. <laughs> Somebody in Vancouver may take a liking. If I see him on there tonight, I'm going to be mad. Hold on. Oh, yeah. oh. Some sort of healing. Hi, I'm not available to ah, take a call right no, now. He's Please sick. leave your name and number after. Just like that's the phone, yeah, Jay. Yeah, can't, can't make it. Got a feel for the man. Yeah, I do. You'd so, think with the less hair, he'd be able to roll over <laughs> easier and uh, answer the phone, but not the case. <laughs> so even the employer who calls to see how he's doing has to hear that message? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> You're on the air, hello. His boss is happy to know gay wants sexual healing. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that's, so that's where you've been. Right. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hi, T-Man. How are you, love? I'm fine. How are you? Good. What can we do for you? I would just like to say I would like to bo- donate a bottle of Dayquil because I am going to school. I'm a dental and He doesn't active. need a bottle of Dayquil. And you know why he doesn't need a bottle of Dayquil? Because he's fine. <laughs> I got a barber on one of these lines right now, Terry, yeah. saying that no barber in their right mind would uh, let you come in their place if you were really, truly sick. They would say, why don't we reschedule you for another time because it could contaminate their right. entire establishment. Right. Get germs on the scissors. On the skizzers, Terry. <laughs> I know. You're pretty close to people's faces when you're cutting their hair. Yeah, you are. And with gay, you can't help but be. So, uh, and he's a heavy breather too. So, oh yeah. I mean, he had to just get up in the chair. Imagine all that. And the result of this is going to be very clearly that he's going to part ways with his uh, with his company, be it him basically resigning uh, or his employer firing him, and then he's going to blame us. And I am not going to accept any bit of the blame, Terry. I can't right. help but call it how it is. Right. He's lying. He's faking. He's getting fancy haircuts, <laughs> and then he's too sick the next day to go to work. Right. On the day that he could have been at work yesterday, he goes out and gets a fancy new red-headed haircut. And now the next day, when I was sure that after him being confronted with this, he'd go to work today. No. So the result of this is going to be, it's all over now. Mm-hmm. He's going to stay home and wallow and blame us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and make us feel guilty. No, not going to happen. Mm-hmm. But what will happen is the da da dollar bill game. <laughs> What a segue! <laughs> now, the only thing that we have to decide upon this morning, Terry, in an effort to get even closer to giving away that Hyundai Tiburon and uh, the $93,000 that may reside in the trunk mm-hmm. of the vehicle yes. is what numbers are appropriate for today. Hmm. How many square inches were taken off the gay <laughs> phone operator, Quaff? <laughs> <laughs> Four sick days, seven day work weekend, or whatever it was, seven day weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you ten dollar haircut. Yeah. Oh, hey, the numbers are endless. Yes, with a fifty cent tip. So, okay, why don't we go? With, why don't we go with? Well, in honor of the 
of the seven day weekend that he was able to <laughs> manipulate seven day weekend put together. That's just called not working ever. <laughs> yeah. It's not a seven day weekend. It's unemployed. Let us go with the ninety three in the serial number. Yes. You also need a seven in the serial number. Okay. And you also need a nine. No, well, how about no? How, forget the seven. All right. Now all the people with the sevens are going to be pissed. But, I but I'm sorry. Ninety-eight point six, which oh, is his current temperature, right, temperature right, right. which has him feeling so so under the weather. Okay. So if you have a ninety-three plus a ninety-eight six, all together like that. No. Oh, a nine eight or a six? No. Oh, a ninety-three, and then somewhere else in the serial nine eight six. Right. Yes, so consecutively. But the 9-3 doesn't have to be immediately right. followed by 9 8, 6. You get it? All right, whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, I don't even know if anyone's going to have this one. Tough one. Yeah, it's it a is. tough one. That's right. Oh. And so it is, it is just as tough to manipulate a seven-day <laughs> little vacation for yourself, but some people find a way. Yeah, no kidding. So we will see if anyone out there has it. Call now if you have 93 and 9 8, 6 and you're sailing over the da 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 b The T-Man. I have a new friend. A new friend. Told me to call. Gay men could be misusing Viagra. Oh, About geez. one out of six gay men uses Viagra recreationally, according to a new study. Right. And they're more likely to do so if they're also using illegal drugs. That's misusing it? Using it if you don't really have erectile dysfunction, Terry? A lot uh -huh. of people are misusing it then. Yeah, probably. It's like one of the most popular drugs in the clubs, from what I hear. Right. From what I hear, Terry. Sure, right. you just hear those That's things. That's right. Uh, and uh, why are they singling out or why are they isolating gay men here as the misusers of Viagra when it's, as I'm telling you, one of the most popular drugs, uh, drugs in the clubs nowadays? Well, I mean, one out of six is kind of a lot, though. Is that what you said? One out of six gay men are using it like yes. that? That, that would be a, well, I don't know what the number of heterosexual men right, right. that misuse it is, Terry, but one out of six is, is kind of a lot. Yeah. No, it's not prescribed to you. You're using it one out of six is a ton. Well, not, most people who use it this, these days are not getting it prescribed by a doctor for erectile dysfunction. They're using it because they want to be Hercules when they're screwing. <laughs> gay men could be misusing Viagra. About one out of six gay men oh, uses Viagra recreationally, I according voted. to a new study. And mm -hmm. they're more likely to do so if they're also using illegal drugs. The men in the study were all attending a sex resort. Mm. But still, researchers believe the study raises concerns. Misuse. A sex resort? They have them. Well, we would ask our, <laughs> near the, call the bathhouses. We would use, uh, we would call, we would get, uh, some, maybe some commentary from our resident gay expert, gay phone operator, Terry, but uh, he's not talking with us right now because right. we've expo he's using me, Terry. Mm -hmm. He's setting me up is what he's doing. Is it? He probably planted the email that brought to my attention that he got this fancy haircut yesterday, knowing that I would talk about it. Mm -hmm. And then, adding on to it another day of missed work uh. so that he'll get fired and be able to blame me for it. Mm. Is he that brilliant? He's... Yeah, you got a point there, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind, right? <laughs> Maybe it was just as it seemed a random listener that spotted the Danny Bonaducci with a fire hose shoved <laughs> up his ass and turned on uh, look-alike getting a fancy haircut and and then claiming, well, he needed, you remember his words, Terry, in the last time, well, I needed a haircut, I had to get one. Right. I'm sure his employers are loving to hear that. Oh, he needed a haircut, he doesn't need to come, but he needed a haircut. Oh, I know that feeling. <laughs> yeah, well, then, by all means, I'm sure next week I'll yeah. do. I'm sure his boss is saying, oh, I know how it feels when you need a haircut. Right. right. Nothing will stop you. <laughs> Gay men could be misusing Viagra. About one out of six gay men uses Viagra recreationally, according to a new study. And right. they're more likely to do so if they're also using illegal drugs. Huh? The men in the study were all attending a sex resort. Mm. But still, researchers believe the study raises concerns. Misuse could lead to higher odds for getting sexually transmitted diseases. Mm. Not good. What a sex resort, Terry. Yeah. If everyone leaves with a disease... <laughs> And then they break up and see each other next year. Oh, wow. It's funny. At the resort, it's only one in six. That's kind of crazy. All in the snow at Whistler. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else? What else is going on, Terry? What else is happening? I'm going to find us a winner for the uh, dollar bill game in a okay. couple of seconds. What do you have that um, you're holding on to there? Jeff Garcia's playmate uh, girlfriend that we talked about yesterday. Yes. To trial. Yes. The hot-ass playmate, Terry. Yes. yes. Is the trial... 
uh, reaching new levels of interest, Terry? Well, actually, she was acquitted. Oh, it's over. Just like that. Start. Yeah. It's not going to be like one of them eight-month trials. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No. She was acquitted. She was acquitted of the... Well, the... did she or did she not throw a karate kick at a club? <laughs> well, she did, but apparently she was doing it in self-defense, but the judge acquitted her of that. However, uh, she was convicted of violating a protection order and placed on probation for one year, plus... She had to pay a hundred and fifty dollar fine and serve twenty four hours of community service. Mm. So she didn't get off scot free, but what's the playmate's community service, Terry? I don't know. How can a playmate, how can this hot ass playmate best serve the community? I'm sure you could write in and I have a couple of ideas, Terry. If I'm on the bench <laughs> and I am uh, overseeing this trial, right? I'm sure the judge is making sure she pays up on her community service <laughs> as we speak. I'm sure right. she does. Mm -hmm. Picking up trash. I mean, how, I, I'm still wondering, there was pretty much no doubt that she threw a karate kick in the club. Mm -hmm. How do you throw a karate kick and then get acquitted of assault by some judge, Terry? <laughs> Did she have Johnny Cochran as her attorney? <laughs> if you karate kick, you must acquit? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. Well, I you? guess according to, to testimony, it says here um, Garcia dated this other the the victim in this. The victim or the, yeah. the person Chris, on the wrong end of yes. the karate kick. Yes, Kristen Hine. That's I, I her did. Name. I did some. I did some research yesterday. Did you now on this playmate that you discussed on the program yesterday yeah, morning? The, the, the one that you I, got the picture of and kissed. That's right. I did a. Yeah. I did a background <laughs> study. On this uh, particular playmate, yeah, and I Carmela, I discovered that uh, Carmela Terry, as you call her, uh, she's a black belt. Okay, oh. so oh, this wow, really? just isn't any run-of-the-mill lame-ass karate kick that she threw. It's not like me running up there trying to karate kick, right? <laughs> right we've all thrown yeah. karate kicks. Right. We're not all black belts. <laughs> your sister oh my when you're God, little. Are you serious? <laughs> she is a black belt. Threw a karate kick in the club and gets off, which is pretty lucky for her. Now, what are you telling me about the situation uh, between her and the woman and, who was on the Kristen wrong end Hine? of this kick? Yes, Kristen Hine yeah. is, the, the, is, is the, the victim. victim of yes. Got her okay. hind kicked. Yeah. yeah, she did. Mm -hmm. Anyway, apparently, um, Jeff Garcia dated this woman like four or five times, but then broke up with her to start dating Carmela. However... Yeah, you break up with Kristen Hine to date a hot-ass playmate. Yeah, okay. However, Jeff Shh. Garcia... Whoever Kristen Hine is, this playmate was an upgrade. There's no doubt about it. Um, Garcia apparently cheated on Carmela with this Kristen Hine yeah! during their relationship. No matter how hot your playmate is, it's always a good move to go back to the ex-girlfriend and have a little extra session. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> that but... is also the rule, Terry. Mm. Two rules here. No matter how hot Kristen Hine is, the rule pretty much guarantees that the hot-ass playmate is an upgrade. And the second rule is, no matter how hot the playmate is, you still go back for a little more from Kristen. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> so everybody right. wins. Everybody wins. <laughs> well, except Kristen when she gets karate kicked in the head. She still by wins. By a black belt. <laughs> Somehow she wins. I don't know how yet, but uh, Jeez. I'm sure she'll get some kind of endorsement out of this for mm. Hong Fu's Karate Dojo. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you can defend yourself at Hong Fu's Karate Dojo. <laughs> I thought right. if you were a black belt and you kick someone, it's like a lethal weapon. That's what I thought. I thought this girl was going to get some serious crap thrown at her, Terry, but all she got was a year probation and yeah, because... 24 hours community service. <laughs> right. I'm servicing the community by making sure you pay. Right. No. Oh, Mr. Judge, please be lenient. <laughs> Probably the signing judge issues was a female, them. by the way. Oh, the judge oh, was a female, wow. Terry? Anita lassiter Mays. Oh, I bet she was. What's that now? I just... That was her name. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Even better. Oh, jeez. You're a tough girl, huh? Oh, wow. So that's the end of that story is what that's you're telling me? That's it. Yep, all now, done Are Jeff Garcia, the homosexual quarterback with two <laughs> hot-ass girls in his life, uh, are uh, him and the karate kick in playmate, are they still a couple or no? Uh, according to all the stories I read, I mean, I'm assuming they are because it doesn't say that they're both his ex. And and he showed up in court to testify on behalf of uh, the playmate. Um, but, um, well, of course he did. <laughs> on behalf of the playmate, his right. testimony may have helped her in getting acquitted on right. the assault charge. Right. But her testimony was the reason, the main reason she gave... The victim of the karate kick, the karate kick, was because Jeff Garcia screwed her when he shouldn't have been. Right. Well, yeah. Man, it's a great trial. Yeah. It's a great trial. You know, Danielson never would have abused his karate powers. <laughs> Danielson. That's not really what karate's for. Well, Danielson had a great route. If you watch Karate Kid number three. Yeah.
Number three? Yes. <laughs> wow. Don't ask me why I watched it. <laughs> oh, man. He had great roots, while others who knew karate did not have it. Kind of like Bonsai Tree. Wow. Had a great strong root. Mm. Huh? Okay. Maybe I didn't follow it that closely. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Was, it, was that the Bonsai Tree that was on the side of the mountain? That okay, they had Terry, yes. <laughs> now we're connected. Yes, you're on the air. Hello. About time, huh? Only took nine years. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> took Karate Kid 3 to make it happen. <laughs> right, right, finally something in common, huh? <laughs> Anyone there? <laughs> Hello? Well, this could have been our winner this morning, Terry. Oh. But this person didn't respond quick enough. And they are not going to win a Hyundai Tiburon and $93,000 wow. in cash. That I can wow. say with complete certainty. Even if they sh prove to be there right now. Too late. Mm -hmm. Unless they speak in the next three seconds. I still would have lost. I was just trying to get them to speak there. Oh. You're on the air. Hello. Anyone there? Yes, I am here. Oh. Are you a computer? <laughs> yes, I'm here. Is it Steve Chipball? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Uh, my name is Nathan. Nathan? Yes. How are you, Nathan? I'm a little sick, actually. Oh, well, who isn't, apparently, these days? You better get a haircut. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the most modern remedy. I'm not sure if you're aware, Nathan. Nothing like a haircut to make you feel back like your old self. Absolutely. I'm going to get one this morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> Part of the homopathic treatment. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> but then you get another day off. <laughs> Nathan, what can we do for you this morning, sir? Uh, I got that dollar bill. What dollar bill are you speaking of? The 93 and the 986. Oh, that dollar bill. Oh. The 986 representing a normal a Fahrenheit within someone's uh, bodily system. Huh? Whatever. Uh, Nathan, <laughs> can you please share with us the serial number of this dollar bill? Yes. L229938602. I, I didn't hear a 96-8 in there anywhere, did no, you, Terry? Well, he had a 9 and then an 8-6, but yeah, they Yeah, but they together. were separated, yeah. Uh, Nathan, the 8 and the 6 were together, and the 9 was one. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Yes? In order, to, uh, in order to make this official, you needed the 986 to be in sequence in your serial number. I did not hear now, that. Now, what are we going to do about this, Nathan? I don't know. You I sound think I'm like going to have to go to Gay's house and get railed. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 okay. okay, have a great day. Jeez. <laughs> Glad we don't have to twist your arms. Sir. That was a good, good booby prize then. Huh? Yeah. Nathan, I mean, no. I was about to say, you sound like a nice enough guy. I don't want to just send you away with nothing, but uh, technically you didn't win the da da dollar bill game this morning. Well, I will have to try again next time. All right, sounds like he's in a rush. All yeah, right, good enjoy. Take care, sir. Wow. Man. I don't know where that came from, Terry. I don't know. Now we have a little bit clearer idea as to why he's sick. Maybe he's been there already. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Right. Hello? Yes. I have the winning dollar bill. Oh, jeez. Who is this? <laughs> this is Amanda. Amanda. Yes. And what can we uh, what can we learn about you this morning? What can what can you share? Oh my with goodness! Us? I'm so excited. I've been trying to call all morning since I heard since I heard it. it that does, that first, doesn't answer my question, going. Amanda. Oh my you haven't right. answered my question. My question is again. Okay. What can you tell me about yourself that may be of interest? Um, I'm sitting at my school parking lot right now. What school do you go to? What do you What are you trying to learn? I go to Green River Community College. Mm-hmm. And what do you hope to get out of that there, Amanda? Because I um, can't think of a thing. Well, I'm graduating this March, so... But who is it? And I started in December. Right. <laughs> All right, so what do you hope to do with your diploma from the Green River Community? Um, well, nothing... The whole community gets together to and to says... Uh, dental school. You're going to dental school? Yeah. So you're going to use Green River Community College as a stepping stone... Correct. To a great career in the dental industry. Mm hmm. And do you want to be a dentist, a hygienist? What do you want to be? Um, I want to be a hygienist. You want to be a hygienist? Yeah. So you want to be at the beck and call, basically, of an abusive dentist. <laughs> you want to say spit. <laughs> they make good money. Why don't you want to be the dentist? Why don't you want to be the abuser of the hygienist? I don't want to go to school for that long. Mm hmm. No. I'll go halfway. How old are you there, Amanda? I'm 20 years old. And are you involved with anyone? Do you have a boyfriend? Are you uh, sexually active? What's your deal? I do have a boyfriend, and yes, sexually active. And you're sexually active? <laughs> yes. And is that working for you? Do you find that fulfilling or no? Yes, it's, it's going great. All right, please elaborate. Um, 
Well, we've been together for like a year and a half. Don't your professors actually ask you these questions pretty much <laughs> once a week or no? What was that? Never mind. Go ahead. You're okay. a dentist, Will. You've been together. <laughs> yes. Know. You better be ready to be a hygienist. This is the the classes you'll be taking once you get to dental school. So, uh, all right. So you're with this guy a year and a half, and? And um, it's going good. Uh, we used to live together, but now I moved back home with my parents. Why the regression? Why did you live together, and now all of a sudden you can't anymore? Because uh, my parents were disagreeing with it. They're, they're pretty uh, moral people, and so mm. they said, if, if you want us to pay for school, you got to <laughs> move back home. So you didn't take them seriously for a year or so, and now all of a sudden you are... Going back to school to finish my AA. And they're, so, they're, they're paying, paying for it. Yep. And suckered them into paying. Mm-hmm. I thought <laughs> AA was free. <laughs> no. The deal was, if you moved out of your boyfriend's joint, they would pay for school. Correct. And that was a good deal for you? Yeah, it was, because I like school. You don't, I finish you don't miss living with your boyfriend? Nope. Why not? It's, it's, it's better, because we got in too many fights, and uh -huh. I don't know. What do you fight chaos. over? What do you fight over? Uh, what do we fight over? Well, nowadays, I guess it's because I have to go home, like, at around 11 or 12, and he gets to stay there, and his roommate has all these girls over all the time, so I get a little jealous. Sounds fun to me. Wow. Glad you moved out, huh? Should have stayed. <laughs> uh, I know it, but what can you do? Mm. You can go to Green River Community. That's what you can do, baby. <laughs> there you go. Yep. <laughs> That's why I'm sure anyone would move at a drop of a dime, Terry, to uh, to go to Green River Community. Mm -hmm. It's a place to go when you don't want to go to school for that mm -hmm. long. All right. <laughs> but you know what else I can do? What's that, Amanda? I can win this car. Well, Amanda, that's uh, remaining to be seen. Now, you're being rather presumptuous, and I don't really appreciate that. Okay. Especially from can, someone who's uh, some smart aleck from Green River Community College. <laughs> All right? I think you should get used to no one taking you seriously, and uh, we should not assume that you've uh, won anything yet. All right? Even All with right, this, I'm, cocky, I'm little, this right. cocky little stance you're taking right now. All right? No, no wonder no one wants to do around in that apartment where all the action is happening. <laughs> right. And they basically threw you out, and you justify it by saying, well, I worked the deal out with my parents. Oh. Your boyfriend has had sex with six different women this week, and, and this is your life now. No. He's faithful to you? Yep. Then why would you get jealous when the other girls come over? What happened? What was that? You have a rather <laughs> masculine voice there, man. Is that something you're aware of or no? I've been told that, yeah. And uh, what do you plan to do about that? <laughs> Nothing. Does it bother you, or would you rather uh, try to do something to work on it if you could? Um, I'm not too worried about it. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty uh, feminine. You're pretty feminine looking, so that compensates for the masculine voice. Correct. All right. What about all your phone sex, though? Uh, I'm, I, do you I, find I, it doesn't limit your phone sex potential that you have this deep, uh, deeper masculine sounding voice? There are some guys that are into that or no? No. No, you're not into phone sex, or are you? No. Well, you can't be. You have no options. Anyhow. <laughs> Mom's listening on the other line. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Amanda? Yes? You feel as though fate may be on your side in this entire contest that we're putting together? I do. Do you realize there are a lot of people that feel the same way? Yes, so then and what, so I then was what, one of them. So then what makes you so special? Because obviously nothing we've heard so far can oh. confirm that there's even a remote bit of specialness about you? Okay, well, I wasn't going to say this, but I figured I would save it till the end if you were to say something like this. Um, <laughs> I used to be in uh, the porn industry. Oh, jeez. And so... No wonder you're so throaty, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I can't live with my boyfriend. It's very immoral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Mom and Dad didn't approve of yeah. that. Yeah, they were cool. <laughs> well, well what, yeah. tell me about this uh, little they cup of coffee you had that. in the porn industry. What did that entail? Um, I have my own website, and I was in uh, Barely Legal twice. The the, the movie by Hustler. In the in the movie Barely Legal or no? No. It's oh, just it's, I mean I've never seen right, it. Right, you heard about it. Right, <laughs> this legend movie that's out there, Barely Legal. Uh, I think there's about seventeen or two thousand different volumes oh, of it. Okay, somewhere in between. Uh, that's how you have some involvement in the porn industry. You've never been in a movie or anything, have you? No. All right, so you're not in porn. 
took a couple of naked pictures. Oh, okay, Big deal. Who has it? If that if that's what's required to be in the porn industry, well, I can welcome myself to the club. Then, wow. wow. Really? Who has taking a naked what? snapshot of themselves, Terry? Me? Whatever. <laughs> I was in Burly Handsome. Oh, <laughs> Burly Handsome number six. But but I stopped all that because it wasn't so, it wasn't for me. But it's you were not, published. Not a good place. You're telling us you were published in Hustler. Yes. Which one? In the September issue of three and the August issue of four. All right, find that one. <laughs> Archives. <laughs> and uh, under what uh, little article or what little area of the magazine were in the barely legal section is what you're saying you were in. Um. Well, it's 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 the it's the hustlers magazine, but it's called Barely Legal. Right. It's a it's a part of. Hustlers. I don't know. I can't do magazines anymore these days, Terry. <laughs> yeah, there's too many. Well, not that's not the reason. <laughs> <For> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, all right. So that's what you think is gonna. I just ask you why you think uh, fate is on your side and you may win this Hyundai Tiburon. I don't know why you went into this whole porn diatribe here. <laughs> well, to uh, to get your interest, to get you on my side. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I can see it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying a lot of people that are winning are expecting that they're going to be the ultimate grand prize winner. I'm just wondering what makes you feel like you're extra special, that you're going to beat them all out. Well, um, I, I don't necessarily feel that way. I'm just very excited that I got through. Mm -hmm. I've been calling and calling and calling. All right, then. Do you have the dollar that we're looking for? I do. Can you read the serial number, please, Amanda? Okay. J23. Nine three five nine eight six B. There it is, Terry. Wow. Yeah. That's the normal dollar we're looking for. Yeah, it is. Oh, goodness. Oh, are you going to be popular today at the Green River Community College? Oh, yeah. I'm sure she already is. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and not for, yeah, winning the dollar bill game because right. you're barely legal. <laughs> oh, excited. How are you going to spend your Martin Luther King uh, yeah, week weekend here? How am I going to spend it? Yes. Well, on Sunday, I'm going to the Monster Truck Show. So that should be fun. You got the voice for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's the announcer you hear on the commercials, actually. <laughs> uh -huh. Be there. Mm. Wow. And uh, where is that taking place? Uh, the Tacoma Dome. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, right over here at Key Arena. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right. right. You got actually, your flat. Down Claw. <laughs> you got your flat a lot in preparation already? Yep. <laughs> okay, good. Um, well, congratulations. You are this much closer to winning a Hyundai Tiburon and $93,000 in cash, Amanda. Woo! Oh, Thank you. All right. Hang on the line. Okay. Okay. Have a great barely legal day. <laughs> Jeez. I'm hearing, Terry, that uh, I'm already getting word on Amanda and her background, Terry. The only reason she was selected for the, uh, for the Hustler magazine she talked about uh -huh. is because there is a a chance that she may have one testicle. Wow, really? <laughs> Boy, Pacey's never worked harder trying to find that magazine right now. Mm -hmm. The T-Man. You're young. 741 at Cube 93. I'm Stephen Kilbreath with your news update. You want a flu shot? Well, now it's yours for the taking. The vaccine shortage over. The King County and state health departments have told doctors to administer shots at will. A 16-year-old Thurston County boy accused of trying to abduct a teenage girl who lives down the street is due in juvenile court today. The girl broke away from a masked attacker Wednesday night outside her home. The boy was arrested yesterday to school. He told the police the incident was just a prank. There are so many interested parties in the Republican challenge to Governor Gregoire's election that Thursday's court hearing in Wenatchee has been moved. It will now be held in the Chelan County Auditorium, which is across the street from the courthouse. A man kicked out of a U District tavern in Seattle last night, stabbed a bouncer and another man. They were taken to Harborview in serious condition. Police arrested a suspect walking nearby for investigation of, ins of assault. Speaking of uh, the U District, last night at Bank of America Arena, the 14th-ranked Washington Huskies beat Oregon 77-56. Gonzaga, the WSU men, both won last night as well. Sunny skies, highs will be in the mid to upper 30s. That's your news update on Seattle's number one hit music station, Cube 93. Imagine having your flight canceled because your pilot was drunk. Ow! That's what police said happened to 60 people waiting to fly out of Vegas. Investigators say a... Well, all Vegas is a gamble, Terry. That's how I see it. <laughs> True. Why shouldn't it be with your flight home as well? That's right what home police roulette, said, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. New game. That's what police said happened to 60 people waiting to fly out of Vegas. Yes. Investigators say a screener smelled alcohol on the Trans Air pilot. The pilot was arrested, charged, <laughs> and is suspended tonight. Well, that's a good screener. 
Mm. He's going beyond the call of duty of a screener. Mm. He's also screening the breath of all the staff members. There you go. <laughs> good for him. Man. <laughs> Uh, Terry, would this be a good time for me to read some ST Man letters that have been accumulating over the past number of weeks? Would this be a good time to do that? Sure. Oh, goody. Let's see here. Well, uh, let me just say right off the bat that if you would like to uh, get your letter read on this here program, write the ST Man column at www.thetmanshow.com. And when they go to that website, Stephen, they uh, they click on the link that says Ask T Man. Ah, uh, yes. And there's a little red beacon that's flashing. That's a a, a buoy, a sign that they can be helped at that spot? Yes. It's, it's a red beacon blinking yes. in the night. It's kind of symbolic in itself, Terry. Mm -hmm. It's like the savior beacon. <laughs> the savior beacon. <laughs> because people click on that and lo and behold, their whole life is salvaged before they know it, right before their very eyes and ears. It's the team and lighthouse that's bringing you into port safely. All right, Stephen, I don't think we need to overdo it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't think anyone was buying it anyway. Anyhow... <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Uh, dear T-Man, let's just look at one. Yeah, let me read this one. Uh, dear T-Man, the other night I woke up at 4 a.m. to my boyfriend pleasuring himself in the bed right next to me. I oh. pretended I was still asleep. Can you please not uh, make any little uh, comments Jeez. there until I'm done with the letter? I'm the beacon, Stephen, all right? That's true. Lord. Now I have to start over. Okay. Uh, dear T-Man, the other night, I woke up at 4 a.m. to my boyfriend pleasuring himself in the bed right next to me. No one wants to react to that? <laughs> <laughs> I Whoa! Pre I pretended I was still asleep. I could understand why he would do it when I'm not there. But why would he touch himself when he could have me? More fun with me. I'm upset. I've been thinking about saying something to him but I don't know how to bring up the topic or how I would handle the situation. Mm. Handle the situation. <laughs> yeah, right. That's pretty much the common theme here now, isn't it, Terry? Yeah. Terry, we've all done this. I don't care how much in love we are. Yes, okay. don't look all surprised. Your man has done it, too. You all just right. sleep through everything. I guess so. All right? Mm -hmm. Trust me. I can guarantee you that J.D. has woken up from a... A great dream with a hot-ass babe in his mind and didn't want you to ruin it for him. <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, this uh, letter is signed uh, Amy Kilbreth. Oh! But... <laughs> Who's her boyfriend, I wonder? Yeah. Oh, you don't know. Husband's always the last to know. Unbelievable. Anyhow, Terry, I mean, come on. What? Sometimes you just want to shake one off without all the fanfare that's involved in having sex with a woman you love. <laughs> fanfare. And, yeah. Bringing Schlucky. out the band. That's yeah. right. You don't want to have to have the whole street sweeped yeah. and uh, <laughs> then you got to march down with all the people throwing ticker tape and all that other stuff that's involved in having sex. But Sometimes you, you just want to shake one off, go right back to bed. But does it have to be like right next to you? I mean... You're like, sleeping. You're supposed to... We're supposed to be quiet when we do it. Well, I this, this, this. Sometimes I realize I'm making a little bit of noise, but I, I sense that it's not affecting her sleep. Yeah, when you're hitting your your own head on the headboard <laughs> of the bed, <laughs> oh, I, a little much. I have a pad back there. Okay, good. <laughs> so I just want this letter writer to know who doesn't sign her letter. By the way, uh. it's it's not Amy Kilbreath. Terry, I was joking, uh. although I'm not ruling her out. <laughs> that come on, don't take it as some kind of personal knock. All right. Doesn't mean he doesn't like having sex with you. It most likely means, as I said, and maybe you took it as a joke, he just had a dream about some hot ass baby and he doesn't want to ruin it now. Oh, wow. By laying on top of you and uh, having that guilt in his mind of knowing he's thinking about that uh, that other woman no. while he's having sex with you. Would you rather him do that? Huh? 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 Would you? I don't think so. Oh, but Terry's the one whose husband never does right. that. I'm sure. I'm sure he does. He only can do one thing to get pleasure, and that's wake up this sex machine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wake up the sex machine. <laughs> Just plug a quarter in me and bam! Mm -hmm. Is that the going right, Terry? Yeah. Wow, that's a quarter. Jeez. That's expensive. You really jacked them up. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's move on. I would like to get to as many letters as possible here, and then if anyone has any comments, you know the number is uh, a toll-free, a 1-866-663-T-MAN. That is the number to call, 1-866-663-T-MAN. Uh, dear T-MAN, I was wondering what the deal is. Uh, these, By the way, I, I made this happen purposefully. The theme of today's letters are going to be women 
in distress. Women, women in distress, Ooh, okay. ladies and gentlemen. Yes, women in distress. <laughs> Fire up the beacon. <laughs> yes. The beacon <laughs> was looking and found women in distress this morning, Terry. Gotcha. All right. This woman writes, hey, Dear Timmy, and I was wondering what the deal is with guys finishing the sex act. Actually, she doesn't write those words. I had to clean this part up because uh, of the FCC stipulations these days. We would have been fined $10,000. Okay. Uh, Dear team, I was wondering what the deal is with guys finishing the sex act all over a woman's body. Why do they get off on that? What's the deal here is pretty That's much a good question, question Terry. That's a good question. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yes, it is. What is so the deal? So let's sit and ponder and try to figure out what the deal is here. Why do guys love that? Because we can? Because uh, it's a power thing? Because women can't? What's the deal? What's the deal? <laughs> Stephen, we're waiting for your commentary. <laughs> I think you're pro- I think it is probably a power thing. I didn't even think of that, but that you're probably right. Well, <laughs> she never thought about power day in your life, huh? <laughs> never really thought about doing that either. But mm. oh, oh, wow! Come on, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone must have taken one in the eye one day in your life. Come on, wow! <laughs> one day. I don't think so. Oh, jeez. Never, you've never done that. I don't think so, no. Then why does this woman write like she's speaking about all men? Does she know that you exist? Does she know that you would never do such a thing? Does she know that you would never? Why? Do you feel well, like all it's... men that she's been with? Probably. Well, I'll tell you what the reality is. Okay. We've all grown up, all us men, Terry, mm-hmm. watching porn for such a long period of time now. We're in the porn generation. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. The X, Y, and even the uh, newest of generations, it's, it's more the porn generation than ever before. And in in any porn video or movie DVD you're watching, mm-hmm. the girls love it. They love when you finish on them. So we assume, as men, that you're going to love it too. And then all of a sudden we realize that the girl we were actually kind of into was horrified when we pulled it out and finished all over. Do you remember that moment when you realize women don't actually like that a lot of times? I haven't come to grips with it yet, so no. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But I remember that moment when I realized, hey, you know, there's a little bit of a difference between these, uh, the way these women react in these porn videos I watch and the way women and, and the world that I'm living in are acting. It's definitely a sobering experience. Because uh, she just yelled at me and threw me out of her apartment naked. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm getting the sense she didn't like that yeah. in her hair. I mean, aren't you, don't you, aren't you kind of, don't you ask about it or lead up to doing it or do you just pull it out and do it? Excuse me, I mean, ma'am, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, ma'am, would you take a survey? Getting, getting to know people, you kind of want to know about their Terry, sexual as I, likes and dislikes, as, correct? As I said, to? blame the pornos we all watch. All right. You know, I know I know you've watched enough pornos, Terry, all, to all know the time. that the women just seem to be loving every second of that. They do, I guess. So yeah. why do they make you think that that's the way it is if it's not? <laughs> Stephen, come on, you've done it once. Well, all women screw pizza boys too, right? Oh, no, and cool. the pizza boys, yeah, cable guy, and the pizza boys never have any underwear on either. <laughs> right, white stretch pants. <laughs> mm-hmm. You Wait, mean that that's me. not the reality, Stephen? <laughs> Isn't that why you order pizza every night? <laughs> once. Come on, once, Stephen. Never once. I, I don't Never recall once. a situation. Well, you I... would recall, so that means it hasn't happened. Well, I don't recall, no. That means it hasn't happened. I mean, isn't it fair to say that if you had done it, if you have done it in your life, that you would recall? I, I would think so, yeah. Okay, so don't say you don't recall. You've never done it. That is correct. I've, I've never consciously done that. All right. Now, not I mean consciously. consciously. Oh, oh, yeah, I didn't mean, yeah. mean to do that, baby. It was subconscious. Yeah, sorry about that. What, what, do you, what kind of answer? No, I have, Why I, can't you give a straight answer? Have you done I, it or not? No, well, God, just, just riding the bus here. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, because you don't like me to answer, like, definitively, so well, that's Says why. who? I, I would love for you, finally, the first time in your life, to give an answer of a definitive nature. Please. Uh, no. Shock I, us all. No. Oh. Why not? It, it, I, it's not something that I'm interested in for some reason. It's not I, the Kill Breath Cup O.T. No. The Kill Breath Cup O.T. I'm not, you know, wild guy. I don't need that. Just wild guy. <laughs> wild guy. There's no freakiness in you at all. Well, since we're on the subject, I think Terry is uh, starting to have her curiosity raised. And the question she's looking to ask is, what is the Kill Breath Cup O.T.? Not that. That's oh, for sure. <laughs> I like English Grey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Add a little honey. It's a combination of Earl Grey and English breakfast. Oh yeah, I guess oh, so. <laughs> you can see how Todd takes a lot of tea. <laughs> I'm a big tea guy. You know. English Grey. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, here's one more. Women in distress is our theme this morning, Terry. one 663 t man is the number to call. Gotcha. Uh, the Beacon has sought and is now solving the issues of women in distress. Terry, the first lady must feel better because mm-hmm. she knows now not to take it, to per- take it personally right. when her uh, boyfriend is doing the deal next to her without waking her up. So we should just let it go and Let say, it go, and yeah. you know what? Don't see it as any reflection on you. All righty. Yeah, mind your business. Yeah, mind your stupid business and sleep. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get your beauty sleep. You need it. <laughs> and, and, the, and you resolve the second letter the by... The second by... letter is don't blame it on us, blame it on porn. So, but, but, but that really doesn't, okay, we know who to blame, but are we supposed to, like, try it and, and, I'm and not, enjoy it? I'm or? not so convinced. <laughs> I'm not so convinced that there's a vast majority of women that don't appreciate that, okay? I think it's split pretty close to down the middle. Oh, And right. I know what side you're on, Terry. Oh, and what side is that, Ah, oh, Terry, I don't think you want me to embarrass you like this on the yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Tell me, what side am I on? You can't take it from enough angles. Anyhow, anyway. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Terry. <laughs> Okay, maybe I do. Anyhow, the last uh, letter that I may have time for this morning, yeah. as far as our theme of women in distress, reads as follows. Dear T-Man! Why are you laughing, Stephen? It's been a while, I think, for us, since we've heard that. <laughs> that is. My boyfriend and I have been dating for about a month. He's great in a lot of ways that I can tell, but I know one thing is for sure. He's a horrible kisser. He practically shoves his tongue down my throat. I thought I could try to make him a little better by showing him what soft kisses and romantic kisses are like, but to no avail, he hasn't changed thus far. What can I do to get him to kiss less forcefully? Jeez. Hmm. Stop kissing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that all you have to offer this woman, Terry? Oh, no, actually. I'm, I'm glad you're not the beacon of hope. <laughs> I, see? That's for right. For women in distress. That's right. I mean, you That's not why off- you are the beacon. That's right. right. I offer constructive uh, kind of advice that may actually get them on the right path. Okay, so so what is that advice to you? Uh, well, you got to give me a minute. Okay. Thus far, all I can think about is maybe try uh, putting a mousetrap at the back of your throat. And <laughs> <laughs> see how quick he learns. Can't you just tell him, hey, honey... It's a little too forceful there. Easy. Jerry, that gets a lot of women killed. Oh, wow. Do so communication is totally out. No, men, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Men don't, well, that kind of communication, that kind of direct and over the head uh, kind of communication is uh, very much of a jolting experience for men emotionally and can lead you to being strangled. Uh, so, men don't like to hear and wake up and realize that they're not great kissers. This guy probably thinks he's like the world's gift to kiss. To the kissing world. This other girl probably loved it. Yeah, no. She just didn't tell him either. But <laughs> So he goes on in life, mm-hmm. thinking he's the man. You ever been with a tongue jammer, Terry? Um, I probably have. Probably have. Yeah. Probably have. Yeah. Beach. yeah, sex machine, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Only a quarter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hot shot for you, it's a little more. Oh, oh geez. I don't even cents. have any change. <laughs> Come on, you know you do. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, there you go. The mouse trap. That's all I got. <laughs> well, okay. And uh, you're suggesting a little communication. Yeah. Well, I think Terry. that if I no, I think that if you're in a uh, in a decent enough relationship, you know, I mean, granted, it has to be a little bit, but a little length of time okay. in a relationship, that you should be able to talk about. Well, they've been going things. out a month, and I can tell you this: I blame porn, Terry, because <laughs> in all these videos, yeah. they're shoving the tongue. They are violently tongue actioning uh, all the way through. Yeah, when all three are kissing at once. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> Tons of really is that all? What kind of movies do you buy? One eight six 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 three T Man is the number to call. Let's see what kind of uh, commentary we may have from the listeners out there. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hi. No, I was calling on the on the the letter about the um, you know, coming all over the. Oh, well, easy. Though. Yes. Can you not say that? Well, that's fine. You just did. Oh. Some women do like that. Of course they do. You pointed I, you that know, out. I get, I get asked, I mean, my boyfriend asks me where I want it, and I tell mm-hmm. him. See, they have good communication. He actually <laughs> asks. See, before he... Left. Right on the curb there, next to that dog. <laughs> 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 All right. He, just, he did get me in the eye a couple of times, and that's... Wow. Oh, man. Yes, and, it, and you never looked better, did you? <laughs> if it's a time where I want it in, in my, you know, all over my face. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, my eyes. Mm-hmm. How do your parents feel about this? <laughs> <laughs> I still don't get what the big thrill is, but hey. Yeah. It's kind Whatever, of, well, he likes it because he sees, like, the, he, sees, he sees his work, you know, the results of his... 
But I want no one to deny this. It is a power thing. Uh, yeah. Men feel there's a moment, there's a big uh, flourishing burst of power mm. that a man gets when he does that particular act, Terry. Okay. I don't think there's any two ways about it. And the woman can't feel too far, uh, powerful on the receiving end. Right. Well, no, I no. can't. But maybe <laughs> there's a moment. Why not? Why can't a woman? Yeah, good. There is a moment uh, where you could feel submissive and be proud of that. Sure, yeah. a lot of moments. Let's put all those moments together and have a couple of years going here now. Anyway. <laughs> okay. but the, the flip side is you feel kind of bad after it's over, though. Immediately. Yeah. Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's hell <yeah. laughs> Oh, what year can I do tomorrow? Oh, wait, I used to tell on someone else last night. <laughs> <laughs> right, you want to feel a fresh oh, one? God, you guys are wrong. You're on the air. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I need a player's advice, man. Uh, All right, dude. Terry's here. <laughs> yes. That's true. Uh, and, like, the place that I work at, dude, I work at, the, at a fence company in Auburn, right? Okay. And I go out to this, uh, this DuPont job site, you know, and I meet this chick. And, like, you know, I'm totally digging on her. I bet my Can't say those words, sir. You got to clean it up, all right? Oh, all right, sir. Although it's very, very interesting. All yes, right. I'm sure the people at DuPont are very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, dude, so she invites me over to this party. And I'm, I, I'm getting drunk and I'm playing pool. And I, and I sit down and I could have sworn, you know, she's sitting right next to her boyfriend and he's winking at me. Your boy, his, her boyfriend's winking at you? Nah, man, uh, she was. Oh, okay. <laughs> what kind of movies that you were in? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to figure all this out. I thought it was going to be a three-way kiss thing happening here. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, and Steve. what? What? What do you got? And it's just... And now she, you know, she calls me up yesterday, and she wants me to go to another party tonight. All right, so go. There's your answer. Have fun. Bye. You're on the air. Hello. Hello? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hello? I'm here. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Hey, I wanted to let you know about that uh, spooling all over the body part, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm yeah. fascinated with that letter. Yes, the other two letters don't exist, Terry. Right. <laughs> All right, go ahead. What about it? I think it's uh, like it's like marking your territory. Mm. And he who gets the most territory wins. <laughs> it's like Monopoly. <laughs> going to build a hotel on you tonight, baby. Oh, man. With my thimble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's the man on the horse. <laughs> okay. Is that what you call that piece of Monopoly, yeah, the man on the, the, horse? Man on the horse? Is that what everyone calls it? Uh, I think so. Is, is there a nazi? Does anyone call him the cowboy, or everyone just calls him the man on the horse? I, I always call him the man on the horse. Steven? I, I don't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you okay there? <laughs> All this I don't know if there's another name for it. I, that's what I thought it was called. You're on the air. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes? Is that me? Yes, it is you. Oh, hi. Okay. Hi. A couple of comments. <laughs> mm. One on the uh, second letter. Mm -hmm. They do that in pornos because that's the only way to prove that it really happened for the guy. Mm -hmm. and that's absolutely yeah, I, I would need that proof. I wouldn't <laughs> believe his uh, acting abilities convincing me and that he's finished if I didn't <laughs> see that at the end. Yeah, of course, <laughs> And so the woman's response being all delighted about it, I mean, what kind of porno would it be if she didn't respond that way? And it's okay in real life, but please don't hit me in the eye again. Uh, okay. Yeah, you sound a little of that. Anyhow. <laughs> and, <laughs> again. And the third letter, I think you were just to target with the mouse trap, but yeah. since that's kind of impractical, honestly, I kind of cured this by when it was headed my way, I started nibbling on it. So that kind of, I mean, that's a Pavlov dog thing. Aha. Uh -huh. So you bit down on the violent tongue that you... No, 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 no. I wasn't trying to end anything. Right, but you... I just started nibbling. It was kind of a warning thing. I mean, and the teeth... Like it was a nice piece of corn on the cob, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Exactly. So that's the best remedy you have for this woman out there who has the violent tongue kisser that's kind of grossing her out because it's making her gag or whatever. Put the teeth in play. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you for the call. Wow. Yeah. I don't know what the remedy is, Terry. I, I've never, I guess uh, there are women out there that have probably been on the wrong end of that, that mm -hmm. may be better at giving advice in that area than, than I can offer. Right. The beacon of hope, Terry, the beacon of help, can't uh, pr pretend to be the expert on every subject. Right. I mean, 99%, sure. Yeah, you're pretty damn close.
<laughs> just keep dating another month. The kissing will end altogether. <laughs> I don't have to worry about That's it. That's right. You don't believe in that. I forgot. Right. <laughs> you want to what? You're on the air. Well, I don't know about you, Hotshot, but I love kissing Whoa. every step of the way. Really? So you are a championship yes. kisser. I'm a championship kisser. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's where it ends, though. It's all downhill from there. You're on the air. Am I on the air? Yes, you are. Hey, I had a, a comment about the second letter. <laughs> Like everybody else, I suppose. It's becoming the, uh, the infamous second letter now, Terry. I know. Yes, it'll always be known through the archives, the annals of time, as the second letter. Yes, go ahead. Um, I've never really just done that on a girl without her expecting it. The only time I've done it is when I was asked to. And I was, like, on her stomach. It wasn't all over her face. And uh, I got okay. her hair. <laughs> Jeez. Well, Terry's getting a good laugh out of the second oh letter. Oh, my she gosh. Loves it. She I don't know how it. you ask. Love it. Hey, do you mind if I... <laughs> I do <you> mind. <laughs> Well, but I would think that it's, I mean, it's kind of rude just to all of a sudden whip it on out and do it, isn't it? Hey, I have a proposition here. What Wait, do you think about this? What would you rather? You, you Now we know how you've been uh, such the baby maker all your life, Terry. What, you need everyone to... F all right, anyway. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Right now. How rude that was! Well, I mean, you're, you're supposed to give me a child and not, not, then not pay child support! If you're not <laughs> expecting it... I, I would. I like to see the face of the woman who's not expecting it after you're done. Like, what am I going to do with this now? Thanks a lot. <laughs> I have to go to work. I'm, wait a minute, I'm at work. <laughs> oh, wow. <gasps> You're on the air. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Yes. Yes, I wanted to comment on that second letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. You happen to say that um, a guy can do it, be will, will do it because he can do it, and because the girl can't? Well, I mean, yeah, a girl can do it, but it's not the same effect, all right? If you're going to say, well, I can do it because I am a big I didn't, sh... I didn't say I could do it. My boyfriend told me to call and to tell you that I could oh, do it. Oh, of course, you got coerced. You didn't want to make this call. You were forced into it. I understand. Well, thanks for your participation. Not really. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Something about holding it. You, you can't. Women can't do it the way guys can do it. All right. 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 There's right. Some kind of massive power you get. <laughs> standing over when you. When you're standing over and you're oh, you know, the whole. You don't need me to paint the scene for you. No. no. All right. <laughs> Stephen especially doesn't need me to paint the scene. I got it. Paint the town fantastic. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yes. I want to talk about letter number two. <laughs> yeah. Then. Go ahead. I have a comment about letter number three. Oh, oh, oh sure you make us up. Lonely the letter number three, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it was like last week on, I think it was like Northwest, not Northwest Afternoon, it was one of the local TV shows. Yeah, I'm sure they were talking about tonsil hockey on Northwest <laughs> Afternoon. <laughs> right. yeah, well, Sydney they were Reinhardt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were advertising what? So in Seattle, they have a kissing class that you can go to. And it has you. It's a you can take your partner, or whoever, and it just shows different techniques for kissing. If you have to take a twelve-week class to learn well, how to kiss, was a one, it was a one-day class, and I think they went for like two hours or something. I don't know. I saw it on TV. But if she suggested, how do you walk through the like, door of that classroom? <laughs> How do you do that? Guys are having enough time coming to grips with the fact that they realize that in order to keep in good standing with this woman they're kind of into, they have to go ballroom dancing. <laughs> wow. All right. Now you got to take them to a kissing class? I don't think so. Mm. Well, I still have not given them in on the ballroom dancing, by the way. Really? Terry. No. <laughs> You absolutely You're supposed to go? put your foot You're down. You're supposed to go. I haven't given in on it. <laughs> really? I'm getting close to breaking down, but I don't think it's going to happen. I'd love to see that conversation in my house. <laughs> oh, what? You're not in? Come on. <laughs> Man. You're on the air. Steven broke down a long time ago. I know. Quite the ballroom dancer. I am. I was in one, yes. You really went? Yeah, yes, I went. Steven goes all the time. <laughs> My idea. <laughs> it was his idea. He forced Amy. <laughs> yeah, she's like, no, I want to watch the game. She's like, it's very embarrassing. <laughs> Just let me drink my beer and right. enjoy my day, please. <laughs> Didn't I finish over you last night like you wanted me to? <laughs> <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Hey, man. Yes. Hey, man, I wanted to talk about that infamous second letter. All right. <sighs> But check this out. I think that, uh, you know, a lot of times when guys go out to bars or whatever and they're picking up checks for just like a one-night stand. Mm-hmm. And you go back to their place, right? Yes. So they want to be quiet and careful and, and do all that not to wake the roommate up or whatever. And so they say, you know, be careful or whatever. 
once I say be careful, then you want to just make sure you get it on the ceiling, on the wall, oh, like all over the well, place. Okay. Well, shouldn't white nightstands involve uh, the usage of a condom, sir? No, I'm not. Yeah, I, I mean, who am I kidding? You're right. <laughs> But, uh, yes, the one-night stand should involve the usage of a condom, Terry, mm -hmm. which would make it uh, uh, not in play, if you will, as right. far as letter number two is concerned. Correct. Hmm. You're on the air. <laughs> I have time for one or two more calls, Terry, on letter number two. Because <laughs> you know that's all. People be. out there are, are fascinated with number two. You're on the air. All right, letter number two. Hello? Anyone? Yes, hi. Hi. Yes. I actually had a comment about letter number one. Oh, my God! Whoa! Wow. I didn't even know where I, that again. I didn't know where I put yeah, that what thing. happened to letter number one? Well, was there one? Let's find letter number one here. Was... <laughs> oh, yeah! Right in King Tut's tomb is where it is now. <laughs> Although can... letter number two is quite interesting. Also. Yes, what can we do for you uh, in regards to letter number one? Well, I was just... Um, I mean, I just did that next to my boyfriend last night. <laughs> so it's not just men. You didn't wake him up? What's that? You didn't wake him up? Well, no, because it's the same principle for women. I mean, I just felt like, you know, I didn't want to go through the whole... Yeah, Terry, technically, it is a two-way street. There's no reason <laughs> why a woman can't wake up from a great dream with some hot-ass guy and want to finish the thought. And it's kind of hot. By herself. To, like, be, right. It's kind of hot to be doing it, like, while he's sleeping right next to Yeah, but to that's, you, the, that's the difference. A guy, when he's doing it next to a woman, will do everything he can to make sure he doesn't wake her up because he knows he'll be in trouble if he does. You get off on the prospect of knowing he's going to wake up in your mid-action there, and it's going to be a great situation for both of you. It's going to be hot for him because he's all of a sudden realizing what's going on as he's coming out of a stage five sleep situation. It's a totally Absolutely. different mindset. I guarantee you the guy who uh, who has this girlfriend who wrote this letter has no idea that she was up when he was doing it or he would have stopped. Mm -hmm. How many guys have heard their woman coming around and stopped in mid-flight there? Right. So but don't, I just think it works both ways. Don't try so. to, No, no indifferent. Yeah, I guess technically, but uh, it's a completely different stage of mind, okay? State of mind, all right? And women are just more sensitive, and that's all right, like... whatever. Don't name it. <laughs> are you awake? Are you up? Are you awake? Okay, I'm in the clear. Pack in business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless she's tricking me. And make sure you're not rough, rustling the sheets too much. Very, very noisy. Mm-hmm. Oh it's all that fanfare, Terry. <laughs> We don't need all that every time. You know that? Is that such a big deal? I guess not. Da, da, da. Oh, but yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. He has the trombone. <laughs> he has the trumpet, the clarinet. 76 trombones in the big parade. <laughs> the T-Man. Pierce County leads the state in meth labs. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Lima! We're number one! <laughs> Pierce County leads the state in meth labs. It's a weird way to start a story, huh? Yeah, very interesting. Terry, I think if they apply themselves, they may be able to go national. Oh, top ten, I think. <laughs> yes. oh, hey. hey, what's the big deal about winning the state from now on? Right. Take on the country. Pierce <laughs> County leads the state in meth labs. This story from our partner, the News Tribune. Right. Just how bad is the problem? I want to know. While the rest of Washington saw their numbers dip slightly, Pierce County had a 16% jump in meth labs and dump sites. Mm. <laughs> Police insist that's because of their increased vigilance. You can read much more about this in Friday's News Tribune. Oh, well, you know we will. Or in Meth Weekly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Either right. one. Well, I don't get that sent to my home anymore. Uh, have to renew frowned upon by the neighbors, huh? <laughs> wow. That's important news to know, don't you know, uh, Terry? I'm uh, imagining that as we speak right now, they're, they're putting up a banner on top of the uh, Tacoma Dome to celebrate their victory. Right. <laughs> Pierce County leads the state in meth labs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big <Jeez>. neon light. <laughs> it's going to be on their license plates, any. Well, I guess the state license plate, but who cares? Anyhow. That's what Dumpy uses the tanning bed to pour for the rest of the day. Oh, jeez. You're bringing dump truck guy into this, Stephen? Wow. Well, he lives in Pierce County. Mm-hmm. I can only imagine it's going to be just a few seconds before we get the call. Pierce County leads the state in meth labs. Dumpy like, yeah, Stephen, do you need something? <laughs>
Okay, Terry, what else is on your pile this morning? What else is happening? And a related story, Team Hat. Oh, geez, you found a related story? <laughs> yeah, I did. There's always a meth story to go along with a good meth story? Why not? Okay, what do you have? Or is this a Pierce County story? No, it's not a Pierce County story. It is a Russellville, Arkansas story. Uh, a Regarding diner... meth in Arkansas, yes. is that right? Meth in Arkansas, yes. In fact, at the West Main Cafe in Russellville, Arkansas, yeah. the chefs were cooking food and meth with the same equipment. Well, Terry, you've got to be economical these days, and there's nothing wrong with serving an omelet to your customers and then having them be up for four straight days. <laughs> right. Uh, that's good business sense. They keep coming back. <laughs> yes. Never sleep. It's amazing how the customers aren't complaining, too. Right, isn't it? <laughs> right. Yeah. But uh, West Valley, Arkansas. Mm. or West Main Cafe in Russellville. Yes, they can claim that. Pierce County <laughs> leads the state in meth labs. Well, maybe they'll have to take them on head on in the, uh, on the national level now. Okay. Maybe so. Because maybe West, whatever, Main Valley is number one in Arkansas, too, Terry. Mm, could be. So. I'm Pierce County going far in my brackets, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the brackets all set up, ready to go. Mm. J- just beat out Clallam County, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I understand that uh, King County's got the number one draft pick this year. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, you boy. never know what's going to happen. <laughs> you better hang on tight, Pierce County. We're coming after you. <laughs> oh, what else? What else is going on there, Terrence? Well, in Nebraska, a 30 year old woman begged for leniency to the judge for her husband who set her on fire. Oh, jeez. Isn't that great? So, um, this is just another situation where. Why are you laughing, Stephen? This isn't a laughing story. Well, it's not Sad. great, I wouldn't think. Well, Terry's saying that, obviously. No, I know. Facetiously, Stephen. She's, this is something that obviously gets to Terry more than. Than other stories, domestic violence is a soft spot within Terry, and she it, she gets angered, and it it makes her sad at the same time. And Terry was one bitchy comment away from being lit on fire. Mm-hmm. She knows that. The burning bed could have been about her. Oh, jeez. Only Stephen would bring up a Farrah Fawcett movie. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, this is typical, probably, Terry, in the life of a battered woman and mm-hmm. a domestic violence situation. Yeah. You can go as far as light your... Woman on fire. Yeah, he, he doused her in gasoline. And yet the classic case of the battered woman Listen. will still be loyal to you mm-hmm. through it all. Right. Mm-hmm. Until she gets help and someone rescues her from the situation. If she ever even gets rescued. Mm-hmm. If she ever gets that help, Terry. Mm-hmm. Did Farrah Fawcett get help in that s- little, what was it, a sick, no, it was a TV, made for TV movie, yeah. right, Stephen? Yeah. Uh, I I don't know. <laughs> I just remember the movie. Okay. Well, obviously it was burning. You don't remember very well. Did she get help? Well, I, I, I don't know. I think she killed her husband is how she yes. got help. Oh, really? That, yes. Oh. That, that's the burning bed. In bed. Oh. Well, that's kind of kinky. Anyhow. <laughs> What else? What else? So she's uh Well she well, the judge of course did not grant leniency, which is very good. I'm happy to see that. Okay. And so, what what did the light your wife on fire husband get? He got what whoa, hold on here. So, um <laughs> I had it, but I just lost it. Oh, Jesus. Um, he is facing up to 25 years in prison. You haven't said that in a while, huh? <laughs> ne- never 25 it, years in prison. <laughs> 25 to, years? Yeah. He's facing 16 25. years and 8 months to 25 years in prison, and That's he will not sentence. be eligible for parole for more than That's the years. going rate on lighting a wife on fire? I guess so. It's pretty harsh. Well, domestic violence and lighting your wife on fire is a tad hard. You can make a case there was an intent to injure Terry. You think? Oh. I mean, she's got you know burns half all over her body. And yeah. she was defending him in court. Yes, that's as sad as it gets it for is you, huh, very Terry? Sad, absolutely. Yeah. And, and it was probably through tears that she had to hear his sentence was 16 uh, years 16, to 25 yeah. years in prison. Mm-hmm. But somewhere during the course of a 16 plus year sentence, Terry, she'll realize how she is way better off without the guy who throws gasoline on her and strikes a match. Yeah, you don't want those people in your life. Mm-hmm. Those people can be counterproductive. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, hey, I had a comment on the second letter once again on a comment you made on it. All right. Just going to let you know that uh, when you said it wasn't really possible, like in a one-night stand, if you're using protection... Actually, it's well, with a condom, yeah, I guess it's possible if you want to rip that, Jimmy, up, but, I mean, that's I, not the... All I right, go ahead. That. What? I prefer that. Oh, okay. Pull it right out, rip it off, and finish your business. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I'm glad you got in then, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank Sorry you. To death, but, hey, I just wanted to say it's very possible, 
and some people prefer it. Okay. All right. There you have it. All right. <laughs> Seems like a lot of work. He hasn't let barriers get in his way, Terry. No, no. he doesn't. He breaks them down. Absolutely. <laughs> Does seem like a lot of work, though. Yeah, Jeez. I I'm one who uh, has accepted you can't have it all. If you want to protect yourself from the oogie diseases out there, you really can't. Well, uh, let's not get too deep into this. Anyhow. I just stay home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something good's on TV, I'm sure. <laughs> all right. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Hey, yeah. When are you having a baby? Any second now. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was her due date? Her due date is uh, not for another two weeks, but uh, oh, okay. as we discussed yesterday, the trap door oh, is opening, to her. Yes, it is. That's She's... exciting. So you're home every night ready for it to happen, right? Sounds good. <laughs> no, he's out in the streets <laughs> running wild. You got the bag packed, ready to go to the hospital? <laughs> Stephen, the bag is packed, and we're ready to go. Do you have the call list and everything? Because we're leaving. On a jet plane? What's that wow. now? You have the call list on who you're going to call first. and I, I mean, you know, you, of course, the doctor, obviously. and then you know. I figured we'd pretty much get her in the car and head on down to the old joint there. You don't call who the do doctor call? And, and say, hey, she's... Is that five how it works? Yes. Okay. Okay. I have, I have his number. All right. And we have the bags packed. Okay. What's in, what's in the bag? <laughs> stuff. Toiletries and stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Any other questions? Just wanted to make sure you had the call list, too. We're dilated one centimeter, Terry. I know. And it doesn't sound like a lot, though. Uh, and, well, you're 30% uh, face. 30% when well, I was at... Whoa! Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Sounds like Steven is, too. Wow. <laughs> and that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big mm -hmm. deal there. <laughs> so, uh, the likelihood is we, we may go a couple of days early here. There you go. Exciting. She's, right. she's probably ready, huh? What's that? I mean, she's probably ready. Tired of all this? It's getting big there, Stephen. Yes. <laughs> Baby looks like he's ready to come out uh, through the stomach there if we don't have anything happen soon. She looks like she's ready to explode. Did you paint the baby's room and all that? Do all that stuff yet? Uh, we have the baby's room set up, yes. Thank you for asking. <laughs> what? You were upset you weren't invited to a painting party or something? Oh, no. I just, I well, just we wanted didn't, to make sure. We didn't paint. Oh, you didn't? But we, uh, we have done a lot of things. We're but good. you decorated. Oh, we decorated, yes. Oh, very good. Bought a few little kitty paintings. Oh. On mobile. On ripsqueak.com. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Have you heard of this, Joe? I have not. Steven? Ripsqueak? Yes. I've never heard it of it. It was very important to my wife. Okay. Ripsqueak. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hope I got it right. I don't even know. Pip squeak? No. Oh, oh, yeah, I know. oh wow, that girl's hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ordered that okay, for I must, have mixed up, I must have mixed up sites there for a second, Steve. <laughs> what is that? Oh, is that the right site? Oh, cute. I don't know. Anyway. Wow, uh, how exciting. Okay. And, uh, yes, we bought a few pieces of baby furniture and we're ready to go. Chair. Got the chair, oh, Terry. Oh, good. Woo. We're ready. Yeah. Wow. We're ready to. I'm sure you are. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, what's, no. your, what's your favorite color? <laughs> My favorite color? Yeah. I'm dying to know. A nice taupe, yes. Not really? Right. So. That's right. I like huh? tomorrow's taupe. I, I like a navy blue. Yeah, that's what I thought. I figured you'd be like a strong, <laughs> <Wow. energy. laughs> strong <laughs> color. I'm going out as a questionnaire in case you guys want to date in the future. Jesus. I like guys that like navy blue. Right. Like a strong green or something. That's what I was thinking. Strong green? Yeah. How strong can greens get? Quite like an evergreen. Oh, jeez. Not a Kelly green? No. You guys are weird. <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> yes. You're on the air. What are Hello. your turnoffs? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. It's people asking him questions all the time <laughs> to start with. <laughs> Terry, what else do you have there, please? Why don't we just get personal with you? Okay? Now I know how people get set on fire. <laughs> Else? To uh, I have another story out of Arkansas if you want to hear about it, how they uh, uh, police tasered a naked jogger that had been reported mm -hmm. for, uh, the last couple of weeks. That sounds like good uh, television viewing. Yeah, right? I know. Watching a naked jogger get tasered, <laughs> yeah. everything jiggling all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, why would they taser a naked jogger? To you? What kind of uh, threat was the jogger causing? He refused to stop running. They, <laughs> Do you want him to stop running if he's naked? Well, I mean, when the police say, you know, hey. It's like, run faster, <laughs> you big fat guy, please. <laughs> we don't want to see anything that clear. 
So they ordered. And while you're at it, why don't you run in the direction of your home? <laughs> So he wouldn't stop right, running, so right. they tasered him. Yes. So he'd lay on the ground, incapacitated. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, everything makes sense in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me see that story, please. <laughs> Pierce County leads the state in meth labs. Mm-hmm. Officers in West Memphis, Arkansas, have... Uh, been getting reports for months, it says here, Terry, mm -hmm. that a man has been jogging in the buff and disturbing people in the neighborhoods. They finally arrested the guy the other night, subduing him with a taser gun. Right. Seems a little excessive. <laughs> well. I, I don't know why they have to do anything more than just merely pepper spray his balls, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason, yeah. no reason for abuse here. Come on. The T-Man. This is the only way I'm writing a song for him, Terry. Are you? Yes. Well, that's good. He just brought breakfast, Terry. Hey, look at it. Hey, hey, hey. 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 We got coleslaw. Boy, oh Garnishes, boy. condiments, you name it. Jeez. Yes, he gets it. He's the man. And uh, it's um, interesting that he just walked into the studio, Terry, because uh, if you remember yesterday in our game of Stump the Pooh, mm -hmm. uh, there was a woman who asked us a Tommy Boy question, and it f was quickly uh, realizing that she wasn't getting anywhere as far as getting the $1,000 gift certificate right. that she so desperately coveted mm -hmm. for cosmetic surgery, Terry. And the deal was that she had to come down this morning and bring some potato salad of her own. Right. And I love when listeners <laughs> show up to pay up, Terry. That's good. Because I understand she's right outside the door. Yes, she brought her boyfriend and her child, but still. <laughs> <laughs> she's here with potato right salad? Here. She's pretty hot. Potato salad. Dave is telling me <laughs> that uh, she's a pretty hot lady. Her boyfriend's out in the green room. She She's out in the green room. Her child's out in the green room. It's a family free-for-all out Ooh. there. And uh, the bottom line is she is paying up her debt to us. She yes. is here with potato salad. Good. And I understand that she is still interested in trying to figure out a way to get that $1,000 gift certificate. Is that right? Well, she has to realize she's going to leave empty-handed. Oh. Uh, she lost the bet with us. Unless she did. maybe maybe something could be negotiated. I don't know, Terry. I doubt it. Okay. I doubt it. Hmm. But let's bring her in real quick. See what she's about. What's her name? Do you know her name? Morgan. Morgan. Okay, Morgan is here. She terribly uh, lost. She lost in a in a horrific fashion, Terry. She wasn't even close to stumping the poo. The poo was uh, up to the challenge, like a good poo should be. And uh, Morgan is here. Yes, there she is. She has brought a shopping bag of potato salad, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yes, because when she is. pays up a bet, she pays up in a big way, doesn't she? <laughs> big way. Yes. <laughs> Look at you, chewing your gum, all smiley, knowing that you owed us, you were indebted to us, and now the debt has been wiped clean because you brought, it looks like, big tubs of potato salad. Actually, what is that? I brought two different kinds of potato salad. Yep. I brought one is just a regular potato salad, and the other one has cracked pepper. <laughs> cracked what? <now>? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So. That's the gum. So, uh, yeah. yeah, Stephen can Whoa. hear your gum from, from yeah. way upstairs. So It's all right. No, right feel here, free. Chew away, like, baby. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, you also brought your child and your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Are they connected in any uh, biological way? Yes. They are. So that is the father of that <laughs> child outside. Yes. Well, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yes. That's a good question, I guess. And uh, you and him have been together for how long? About two years. Are you, are you happy with that guy? Yes. Yes, he's a good quality guy. Yes. Treats you well, doesn't light you on fire every weekend. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Not in that way. Mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, you, you plan to spend a significant period of time with him? or Yes, just... I, ho I hope we last for a long time. Oh, geez. Forever. You almost <laughs> like, I was about to say, you almost said forever, and then you, you changed it at the last second. March 12th. No. <laughs> okay, so uh, I also understand that you're hoping, and maybe this is why you decided to come down and pay the debt off, uh, it, with your two tubs of potato salad that you brought. Did you make this yourself? Is this homemade yes. potato salad? It's homemade yes. potato salad. Yes. 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 Wow. She didn't just go out to QFC and buy some wow. run-of-the-mill potato. She baked, she fried, she yes. parade, she Look curled. Out. I don't know what she did. I don't know cooking. Anyhow. <laughs> Uh, she Hopefully sliced, she diced, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fried fried I understand that uh, you are hoping and 
desirous of finding a way to somehow salvage that $1,000 gift certificate for cosmetic surgery. Is that accurate or not? Yes, it is. It is. And if you were to receive this gift certificate, which I can pretty much tell you it's not going to happen. But if you were, hey, stranger things have happened, Terry. True. If you were to receive this gift certificate, what Mm -hmm. would you use it on? You have a nice body. You're a pretty young lady. Uh, How old are you? 20. Okay, and how would you use this gift certificate? I would get breast augmentation. You would? All right, let's see the breast situation. As a matter of fact, since you brought it up, if you really want this gift certificate, Mm. what I think you should do is drizzle a little potato salad on your nipples and let Vinny the Pooh spoon it off, and then we'll call it even. Uh, What? (laughs) But how do That's you That's a little drizzle? extreme. There, it's a salad. nice light drizzle. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> just out of it depends how fine she parade it. Uh, is that a word as far as P- cooking parade? Puree. Yeah, puree. You puree stuff, yeah. Oh. I thought I heard that somewhere. <laughs> Anyhow. To make now, something a liquid. Is that what it is? Yes. So yes. I was pretty close. It's sure. a button on the blender. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can actually so, carry if it, was, if it was parade, finally, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. in a fine fashion, yes. meaning diced thinly, right? Yeah, it's like baby food. Yeah. Yes. Then you could be able to drizzle it. Anyhow. Now, this is a, just an effort to uh, sabotage Vinny the Pooh's relationship in this day number two. <laughs> hanging out in the studio. Welcome to this business, my friend. Yes. <laughs> to introduce him early to what we've been through for so many years now. That's part of the show. Well, yeah, that's right. Hey, listen, Morgan. Let me just tell you this. I'm more than happy to just call it even. You lost your uh, little trivia bet with us yesterday. Mm-hmm. You brought us potato salad. It was nice meeting you. Have a great day. Or... You could drizzle a little homemade potato salad on your non-existent nipple situation, and uh, maybe the poo will just spoon a little off, and then you get a gift certificate. It doesn't seem that difficult. Doesn't that seem a little extreme? Some probably got on there yesterday when you were cooking it. What? <laughs> Stephen knows that happens to him all the time. Yeah. He usually cooks topless. And he calls Campbell over immediately to have him clean right. up the situation. Campbell, you win. Mm-hmm. Well, here are some How other options. You can, you can play sex over glass with your own son out there. Or, uh, oh, my geez. God. What? Or, daughter. let's see. Oh, it's a daughter. Oh, oh well, then never mind. Anyhow. Don't call yeah. him daughter. Yeah. yeah, that would be gross then. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, that would be nasty. Uh, what else could she do? That's well, pretty like much it. Option. Yeah, I mean, the first option. What? We're not asking the world of you here. Well, Vinny, he's a handsome guy over there. Yeah, he is. You don't have to do it in plain sight here or all. I'm not going to sit here and have some little peep show. You can do it in there with Pasty Dave's little studio. <laughs> <laughs> all right? Yeah, we won't see anything. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Pasty? I don't know if you want to see Sounds this. Sounds good. Yeah, you're pretty flat. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. I mean, that is, uh, that is well, a horrifying... Well, I breastfed, and now they're just gone. So, so you used to have ample bosom, is what you're saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, then the, the daughter... Mm-hmm. Sucked a lot of that away. Right. I, I get a lot of those emails, Terry. Yeah. Oh, it I happens. remember the day, T-Man, where I had ample bosom, and uh, now, three kids later, they're all gone. Yep. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty much inverted now. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, because there's really nothing to see there, that should be more of the reason you should be inclined to say, this is not that big a deal. Let me put a little homemade potato salad. What kind of potato salad did you bring? I bought Because you said you brought two kinds. I don't know what what kind of kinds there are. There's just a regular kind, you know, with like mayonnaise and mustard and the normal stuff you put in. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Eggs and stuff. Yeah. All Mm -hmm. right. And then the other one, the only difference is it has cracked pepper in it. Cracked what now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. Yes. Yeah, they're both good. Cracked pepper. Okay. And, um, all right. Well, Mm -hmm. I'm just. So that's my only option. Unless you can think of something that is reasonable to us. This is all we have. Well, I came all the way down here with my delicious potato... Oh, what did you say? You lost, you lost oh. The oh. Oh, oh, you mean that potato salad that you owed us? Oh. Wow, so big Yes, event. but once you try it, you'll, you know, you'll be more than generous, I think. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yes. What yes, but we're not talking about gift certificates anymore, are we? No. Oh, wow. Uh, let's see here. I'm not tasting her potato salad, Terry. No? No. I don't know this one from all in the wall. That's true. You taste it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put anything in it. I know you didn't. Anyhow, uh, what, what, as far as I'm concerned, then, it seems like you're not interested in this gift certificate really as much as you thought. No. That's fine. No, I really It was am. nice meeting you. You're a very uh, cuddly little blonde there and have a nice life. Okay, well, if, if I do it, can I oh, make sure that my boyfriend is okay with it? He's okay oh, with it. Oh, come on. 
He's out attending to your daughter's mm-hmm. needs. Would you want to disturb that little connection they have going right now? So you can ask him if he can put drizzled potato salad on your breast. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to say, you came out of here for that? <laughs> Trust me, I know boyfriends. They're fine with this. If he came down with yeah. it, he's fine with anything. Well, all right. Why don't we bring it? That'd be kind of interesting. Uh, Pasty, why don't you go out to the green room oh, with the cell phone and ask him in a very, very low key kind of way hey. if it's okay yeah, if, cool if, <laughs> if his girlfriend oh, drizzles a little potato salad on her non-existent breast, and then uh, and then we'll call it a day right there. Just, just, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And uh, what, what was the other part? Yeah, yeah. The, the Vinny. Vinny the Pooh. I couldn't remember his name. Uh, <laughs> then just takes a little spoon and just mushes it around a little bit or something. I don't know. Mixes it all up. Yes. He purees it. Mm. <laughs> Are you putting the cracked pepper kind on or? <laughs> Stephen, what are you keeping score at home? <laughs> you are. <laughs> Trying to follow along. He's on. She, she does have two nipples. Anyhow. Uh, oh, well, a pasty. I know the one above it. Sorry, I'm sorry. Wrong trouble. I definitely hit the wrong hotline, didn't I? And let me tell you, you can come over here and I'll dribble all over you, baby. Okay. Jeez. Uh, Pasty. Yeah. What's going on out there? Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'm um, we wanted to see if it no, was no, no. All- say, Pasty, this is very gentle and delicate. Say, it's been negotiated in the studio. That's your girlfriend who made it clear she desperately wants a $1,000 gift certificate so she can get her breast augmentation. I'm sure he's not frowning upon that either. All she has to do is drizzle a little of her homemade potato salad on her non-existent chest. And then, uh, what is it? Vinny the Pooh takes mm-hmm. a little spoon yep. pretends to... Have a little feast, and we're good. Did you get all that pasty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. pass, pass that along, pasty. <laughs> Verbatim. Your girlfriend in the studio has agreed to um, take some of her potato salad. Why is he talking and... like that? It's grossing me out. Potatoes. <laughs> Trying to be casual. That's your casual you sound? Said it's, it's more creepy than casual. Okay. Um, hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> um... She's agreed to rub potato salad on her non-existent nipple area oh, in exchange, oh, and also while having Vinnie the Pooh <laughs> clean them off oh, for geez. her Jeez. in exchange for a gift <laughs> giving. Jeez, that's a little spoon. Yeah, clean that's it off. <laughs> yeah, so she was a little nervous about how you would feel about that. She won't do it without his consent. Let him know. Go for it. Oh, wow. Hey, go oh. For it. Well, we should up the ante. Huh? <laughs> that, was just, but that was a sales guy down the hall. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, let's, now let's hear from her boyfriend. Was that her boyfriend? That was him. Oh, he, good. He was wow. consent. And he, was he serious when he said that, or was he just saying that to, uh, to spare him any more embarrassment? How does he feel? Is he good? No, Hunter, he's got a grin on his face, and he said, go, go for it. Did you tell him about the train? <laughs> or, yeah, did you? What, what kind of man are you bearing children with here? The lights off party afterwards. What kind of man lets you drizzle potato salad over your chest? That's I, disgusting. I think he knows how much I want a gift certificate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he shouldn't let you do that. Yeah, that's wrong. Anyhow, come on back in, Pasty. All right. All right. There you go. I don't want to miss this. <laughs> and then he's going to foot the rest of the bill. Is that it? Huh? He's going to foot the rest of the bill for your breast augmentation, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. He's going to pay for it? Or yeah. it's going to be a collaborated effort between you and him because you're pretty much a, pretty much, a couple, wouldn't you say? Yeah, pretty okay. much share all the money. Yes. Do you have a joint checking account or no? Yes. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, not uh, advised, but sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not, not being married. <laughs> Bad move, but sweet. <laughs> all right, why don't you take one of your tubs of uh, potato salad? Vinny, do you have your spoon? We'll travel? Where okay, good. Spoon? How do you get a spoon so quick? Does he have a spoon? No, no he, doesn't. he doesn't. He doesn't run down and grab one. one. I have a fork. Okay, good. Oh, <laughs> I bet you do, baby. All right, why don't you head into that uh, little Pasty Dave studio there, and Pasty, you let us know when the transaction is complete, okay? In the meantime, let me see the other tub of potato salad you brought. Mm. You want a fork? You know, Excuse I, me? Baby. <laughs> okay. But we're supposed to talk about that after the show. <laughs> Should we use cracked pepper or regular? I don't think it really matters. Mm. This is nice, though. You put a lot of work into this. Yeah, that's... Okay. <laughs> Do you want some drizzling potato salad music? Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I just... Let me see here. Do we have anything? 
me find my potato salad greatest hits. Hold on, hang on a second. <laughs> that would be a help. Steven, anything you could provide would be good, too. All right, I'm oh, looking for something potato-ish. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Morgan is uh, in the other room, Terry. Yes, she is. Pacey Dave has a big, stupid grin on his face. Yes, he does. Pacey Dave has a big, stupid grin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good so far. Yes. <laughs> He's going to give us running commentary, even though the microphone is not on in the other room. It's amazing how this happens. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at her. Pretty. Well, uh, let's see. Right now, she's looking at me, ready to take her shirt off. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Pulling her shirt up a little bit. Oh, she's tasting the potato salad. Looks, yeah, she looks is. Looks kind of naughty, Terry. Yeah, it does. From this vantage point. Yeah, I love potato salad. Whoa, there it goes. There it goes. It's on. It's on. It's on. And Vinny has gone in for the scoop. He's scooping. Vinny's <laughs> quite the scooper, Ooh, Terry. And, and he ate it. And he ate it, too. Okay, now, now baby, it's my turn. Vinny, how's that working for you there? It tastes great. Yeah. <laughs> Less filling. It's not what he had in mind when he had his internship. Huh? <laughs> Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that quickly, right wow, before well your very ears, the transaction is complete. Way and our friend Morgan is a recipient of a $1,000. <laughs> and we'll be back with the other nipple right after these words. <laughs> the T-Man. Yes. As we hit the home stretch on a fractious Friday, Terry. Oh, my gosh, a fractious Friday. Why don't we take a few calls? What do you say? Sound good? Sure. How about you give me a little quick little ditty there, like something 20 seconds or less. What do you have? Uh, how about this? Did you hear about the couple that named their kid Yahoo because they met online? Oh, jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Mm-hmm. So, in about 10, 20 years, I'm going to bump into a guy named Google. Probably. <laughs> it's on its way. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, I already know what uh, Hot Shots Kid's going to be named. What? A Big Naturals. Oh, hey. <laughs> wow. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and that's just their stomachs. That's how I like it. This is terrific. Yeah. Yeah. We name our kids after the site that we meet online at now. Yeah. So, uh... In the future, there'll be some woman out there telling her parents, Oh, Mom, I met some Yahoo last night, and oh, he's so terrific. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Some Yahoo? Yes, some Yahoo. <laughs> kind of... Come on. I'm telling you. Is that really the way to go here? No, but... How do you call him to dinner? Yahoo! jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting crazy. Please. Please. Take it easy out there, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please, for my sake... I'm a couple of minutes away from having a baby, and I can't think of such inventive, creative names. Yeah, Fandango Tepper. Like Buh, <laughs> like Yahoo, Bukaki Tepper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boy, Kilroth got a kick out of that one. Oh, <laughs> I think Steven has that in his favorites. Anyhow. <laughs> Bukaki Tepper dot com. Mm-hmm. How do you spell that? Whole <laughs> Don't act like No, I'm not changing it. It's still Corey Haim Tepper. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, let me take some calls here, Terry. Gotcha. Punch up a couple of these yahoos. What do you say? Yes. One eight six 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 three T Man is the number to call, and you are on the air. Hello. Hi, uh, is T Man? Yes, it is. Oh, what's going on? Uh, I'd like you? to make a comment on the woman. Uh, the woman got caught on fire by her husband. Well, she got caught on fire. She got <laughs> set on fire. So <laughs> that's a little bit of a difference, yeah. but yeah. I understand yeah. maybe just got twisted with the words there. Yeah, she got set on fire by her husband. Basically, that that right there just sounds stupid, and I guess that's just the power of the pimp juice, oh, you know, where she's defending him in court. That's so it all comes down to how good he's laying the pipe, is what you're saying. Is that right, sir? Yeah, yeah it's going down the tube. It's quite how nice, How strongly he's bringing her the ruckus, Terry. Terry's yeah. rolling her eyes. She's raising her eyebrows. She's bothered by this conversation. <laughs> it has nothing to do with sexual performance, Terry. Not at all. It has to do with just uh, an overwhelming amount of power and brainwashing that a man mm -hmm. can do. In a, Brainwashing in a, with the fists and other things. I'll uh, to ask you something else, though. Uh, referring back to a comment you made about the Seahawks, uh, you know, and this this article sounds like um, Sports Center and Northwest Sports kissing Holmgren's ass or his overweight ass, mm -hmm. um, basically because he should be fired. And I, I'm glad that you can put that on the air, like these other analysts are scared to do, because Holmgren is apparently this great coach, but he's not. He's not a 
you know, he's... Well, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. The media in town is very scared of Holmgren. He makes it very clear to them if they're not nice to him, he won't uh, be very approachable to them, and they need him in order to exist, or else they're just going to be replaced by some other beat writer or whatever. So it doesn't happen in major cities uh, that are bigger than Seattle. Seattle's a major city, but not like a New York or if Los Angeles actually had a football team, I'm not sure that the press would let the head coach get away with things like that there. I don't think Holmgren necessarily should be fired only for one reason. I don't think there's many people out there that are that much better, believe it or not. I actually think he's a decent play caller. That's uh -huh. his one strength. His ability to evaluate talent, bad. His right. ability to get along, really, with the players, I don't think is very good, even though you don't read about that in the papers, Terry. Mm -hmm. I actually am on the side where I think Sean Alexander got a really bad rap. I think he was very uh, candid with his comments. Maybe they weren't the best thoughts he could have had, but he did get screwed. Yeah. There was no reason down on the goal line why he shouldn't have gotten the ball when he's proven that he's a goal line artist who can get in the end zone exactly. all the time. They never exactly. they never run a quarterback back sneak. The, the Seahawks have never had Matt Hasselbeck exactly. sneak the ball in over the end zone line, Terry. Right. All of a sudden now he wants to give Matt Hasselbeck a quarterback sneak. He didn't want Sean Alexander to get that record because right. he would have too much exactly. negotiating power. Right. I guarantee you, exactly. he did not want Sean Alexander to get that record, and right. he was as well versed on how many yards he needed oh, to yes. get that record as uh, Sean Alexander was. Right. And now, how are you not winning games with the second leading rusher by one yard? And that was Sean Alexander being the consummate team player when he made those statements and being on a, as on top of how many yards he needed to get that title. No, he wasn't, but. Doesn't mean that he is uh, a person who can't uh, act in a human fashion and be disappointed right. after the game. He's a good guy. I spent time with him down in New Orleans at the uh, Super Bowl a few years ago. We rode on the same plane. We rode in the same bus. We hung out in the same hotel. He yeah, is as quality a guy as you'll find in sports there are a lot of guys that are of quality. There are a lot of guys who aren't. He is at the top of the list, Terry. Mm -hmm. Just in the time that I spent with him, maybe I don't know him well enough, uh, and that could be your conclusion, but the time I spent with him, I was able to gauge this is a rare kind of guy in a lot of ways, and uh, this is not a guy who should be put in a bad light like the media did here because he has been deemed as a selfish only a me kind of guy. I did not get that impression at all. And just because he wanted the record, a one-time situation that you can get maybe in your career, doesn't mean to me that you should uh, label this guy as a bad apple. Right. Did I just go off for about 10 minutes there? You yeah, did. Whatever happened to the Bukaki talk? Right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't have said it better myself. All right, I said it better myself. Okay, hey, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. See? I don't know what he's about he to has say. No other, don't, don't let him ask any more questions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. T Man. Yes. Just for a little change of topic, I just wanted to congratulate you on your baby because I just had mine yesterday and it's a wonderful day. Wow. Yay. Well, good for you, Congrats. sir. Thank you. I am very excited. I can't begin to tell you. Are you are you scared, sir, or no? Of course. And last night was the worst night of my life. <laughs> why is that? I had a baby. I was up all <laughs> night at the hospital. All right. Well, why is that the worst night of your life? Worst and best. Put it together. Mm -hmm. Work hand best. Now get get used to it. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's not going to change. <laughs> well, but I just wanted to congratulate you because I was listening through your times and trials, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm feeling them. Well, I, maybe I someday that. our our sons will play together, sir. Exactly. Oh. Yes. Indeed. Thank and that was it. I just wanted to congratulate you. And thank and, you for the and call. I appreciate you. Get me through it. Congratulations oh. to you. Thanks. There you go, <laughs> Terry. I, I'm just a little bit with fear sure. that I'm going to be some kid's father. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Sneaks up behind me. What's Bukaki.com? All right. <laughs> I know. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I thought I punched in Barney.com. But yeah. sorry. <laughs> At the same time, it is not possible for me to be any more excited, Terry. No? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sure. Okay. What if you're going to a bachelor party in Vegas? Okay, I could possibly be a little bit more excited. Okay. No, All right. it's not possible. Who's bachelor party? Oh, <laughs> you're on the air. Hey. Yo. I just got some advice for you. Yes. 
When I just had my son a year ago, first I want to say thank you for the coupon. My wife is, you fixed my marriage. Mm-hmm. Wow. His marriage would have been destroyed if his wife didn't get cosmetic surgery, Terry. Mm. We have salvaged many a relationship and a marriage out there. Isn't that terrific? Good to know. Hey, I had my son a year ago, and we watched those uh, birth stories and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, my wife is watching all those things hey. on the Discovery Channel now. Yeah. A baby story. Uh, not, yes, none of that happened. Time. On all those shows, you see like four or five people in there yeah. and, you know, getting ready for and everything. And the nurse was in there with us, and she said, the head's coming out. It's coming. Interesting. And uh, there's, you know, just me, the nurse, and my wife. And I run out in the hall and say, hey, somebody couldn't get in here. You know, and uh, so this lady comes running in. Right. <laughs> Not really. The head comes out. Yep. Done deal. Otis. But one of the things I wanted to tell you is... Otis. Don't stay by your wife's head. Mm. Give her the drugs. Right. Give her the drugs right away. You got it. And but uh, don't take a look at that vagina is what you're saying. Don't look down. Okay. Don't look down. Don't look down. There you go. That's it. This man sounds like he's speaking from a, a memory of fear, Terry. Yeah. Don't look down. Because I haven't been able to since. <laughs> hmm. So are you videoing it? Or oh, what are you? Or do they do that for you now? Yes, there's a hired videotape guy that stands <laughs> over the vagina <laughs> and, and just gets a lot of Zoom co- close-up angles and all that fun stuff. No, Stephen, uh, we will not be. We made a decision not to videotape. Ah, that's good. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to see that. Okay. I mean, oh, not come because on. of you. You could put it but... on CD and send it out to all your friends and family. <laughs> Had a big viewing party. A lot of guys. You hear a lot of guys talking about how they have caught a glimpse or maybe a little bit more of the actual act in progress, and they advise their buddies, don't look down, as this guy said it. Mm -hmm. Don't look down. Wow. Yeah, but isn't there like a sheet? I mean, if you can look down, but you're not going to see anything, right? Well, he's... They're saying don't be on that end, I assume. Don't look down and around the sheet. Don't look at the... It's like looking at the solar eclipse. Once you look, you can... <laughs> you can affect your eyes. You can be affected yeah, for the rest of your yeah, life. You don't up. look directly at the sun, is what right. you say. <laughs> it's like Raiders of the Lost Ark. If you look at it, you melt. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. <laughs> but, but, but these guys, the ones who speak like this, just seem like they're speaking from a real strong place of uh, immense fear. Mm-hmm. Don't look down, whatever you do. Hmm. Mm. Now, do they offer the That's fathers right. any sedatives or anything? Okay. You know, in case you're nervous. Don't alone. worry, I'll bring you home. So okay, thank you. I'm asking. <laughs> the T-Man. Oh. Okay, Terry, as we wind it down, no more stories. Put them away. Don't oh. even shuffle through your list there. Let me just run through as many calls as we can get to in about mm, 20 seconds. All right, let's see what we got out there. You're on the air. Hello. Hello? Yes, hi. Uh, T-Man? Yes. I-, I just have a brief comment on the uh, potato salad lady, if you will. <laughs> the guy's been holding on for about 25 minutes now to make a comment on potato salad. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, I, I, you're... you're your listeners never cease to amaze me. Yes. And, you know, I'm, I'm totally amazed that, that why would someone want to humiliate themselves on air for a measly $1,000 gift certificate? Well, she didn't see it as humiliation. She saw it as a bonding experience between herself and the program and uh, her boyfriend and her child, and she's better off for it, sir. So maybe what one person can't understand is another person's logic. So there you go. All right, sir? You're absolutely right. Maybe you're just jealous because you don't know how to make a nice tub of potato salad. Is that what this <laughs> stems from? Maybe I am. Okay. Maybe I am. But on the other hand, you also have to question the integrity of her boyfriend yes her boyfriend was a, a i met him outside yeah. after she had done the the the, the little negotiation thing mm-hmm. that we had put together terry he was yeah. a smiling young man yeah. and uh seemed like a quality father with uh yes yeah, so you know, sure you know that's part for the course though you know it's my belief that uh some caucasian women just... have a high tolerance for that kind of humiliation mm. wow yes that's why you love him right sir <laughs> well sometimes sometimes okay. it depends in the meantime uh 
I noticed that uh, Vinny the Pooh back there yes. has a tub of potato salad ready to take <laughs> home as a memory, Terry. Oh, good. Yeah, it's either that or he's going to make his girlfriend eat it tonight and not tell her or something <laughs> like that. Do you Where like that? I, I bet you do, don't yeah. you? <laughs> Serve it to her tonight. Really be kind of devious like that. That'd be great. You're on the air. Hello. Hey, T. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I've really enjoyed the uh, the Stump the Pooh series that you've had going on. Uh, a series of one. one day. Yeah. Yes. I I have some trivia and uh, a couple of prizes, which I, think I don't know are if very, have, very uh, worthy. Of I don't playing know if we game. have time to play Stump the Pooh today, but the Pooh will be here next week. Oh, wow! And it'll be back to the days of Christopher Robbins and Pooh uh, oh. at that time. Cool. But time is short, and so am I. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. One eight six 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 three T man. Maybe you can make it in under the wire. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, I called last week and asked Little Weeman oh, if there was any gift certificates available, and he said no. Well, Little Weeman wasn't here last week because Little Weeman is uh, is no longer with the program, as we said at the be at the end of last year. So I don't think you could have been speaking to him. Okay, well then maybe it was Pasty Dave. Could have been Little Potato Salad Dave. Yes, <laughs> that's who it was. Salad Dave. I love it. But Weeman uh, got a nice job, from what we understand, as a program director of a, a major radio station, so a big stepping stone upward. So congratulations to him, yes, as we talked about. Isn't okay, it? well, congratulations. Yes. But can I please have a gift certificate? No! Why? Because you, oh just because God. you probably did talk to Raymond last year uh, at the end of December and worked out some deal that you never were able to follow through on. That was his negotiating way, and Potato Salad Dave doesn't have those interests, unfortunately for you. But he was nice enough to put me on the air. Who? Uh, Pasty Dave. Well, you're on the air, but that doesn't mean you're getting a gift certificate. Please. Oh, please! Oh, that's right. So so unique to actually say please. Mm. I'm sorry. Thanks for the call, though. All right. Yeah, right. That's your coleslaw making ability. <laughs> wow. You're on the air. Hey, T man. Yes. Hey, how you doing, man? What's up, dude? All right. Congratulations on the baby. Thank sorry you, sir. about them sea chickens, but uh, who you think gonna win the game this week? Pittsburgh and the Jets. Uh, I'm a diehard Steelers fan. Don't hurt my feelings, bro. I, I would have to lean towards Pittsburgh, but obviously, you know, I'll be rooting hard for the Jets. Oh, come on, yeah. man. What? Hey, you need to come down to Tacoma, man. I should Check us out. I should abandon the team that I've been rooting for all my life because you, the new caller, is a, a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. No, I'm not a new fan. caller, man. I'm an old time caller. Oh, oh well, I just say so. Well, the Jets are history, then. <laughs> Screw them. If you if you throw in a please, I'll really be over the top now. <laughs> you see those Huskies last night? I I saw the highlights. Yes, I was there. Oh, they didn't have it on. Oh. Uh, you didn't work. You weren't at the game. I was not. I have the Arizonas. Yeah, those are the games they'll put on TV. The right. ones that you That's actually true. can see. But well, tomorrow night will be on. Mm-hmm. Well. Stephen was there, though, huh? This is as balanced and as strong a team as I've seen at some time. That's right. Wow. At least for you, Dub. And uh, they're going to be a three or two seed, dude, in this uh, thing we call the dance. It's coming up quick, right? It would be tough. It's a couple of months away, yeah. Terry. Two months from now, we'll be dancing, baby. Right. Wow. Yee-hee. And Love that. A, a three seed is uh, actually a conservative little little estimate as, where, as to where you find them in the bracket. That'd be awesome. I'm ready. Cool. The leading score, I think, last night had about 14 points. Mm-hmm. Everyone getting in the act. Everyone gets involved. Mm. One of their best players didn't even play last night. Right. Making the Oregon Mighty Quacks look like a little peewee team. <laughs> But is Oregon uh, ranked? ranked? No, they're not. Oh. They're, they're and they lost three, some of their best players over the past couple oh. of years. But, I mean, still a Pac-10 team. Yeah. Right. Still, they recruit big-time players. Gotcha. And they didn't look like they were in the same league wow. right. they won five as in the row, Huskies too. last night. And as promised, as predicted, Gonzaga, who was the one who made UW look a little bit human uh, a few weeks ago, mm-hmm. I told you, A, that they would win that game against the Huskies, mm-hmm. and B, they would still suffer losses that were from teams that were terribly beneath them and even though the Huskies lost to them if they were to play in a setting like the big dance with a lot on the line the Huskies are the better team the Huskies would win wow. you're on the air hi yes I want a gift certificate All right, let me tell you right now <laughs> don't call for gift certificates at this time okay. yes yes I still have a stack but uh, I'm not just going to hand them out for no good reason. All right? And well, so far, I can always run naked from the, the sound studio. of your voice, all <laughs> I can hear from you is that you are a woman with no good reason. I don't know what that means. Anyhow. Yeah, team man, I need lipo really bad, but I'll run naked through the studio for you. <laughs> Ooh. Jeez. No thanks. 
I don't think we've ever seen a naked woman, have we? But you're out of the air. Hello. T-Man, uh, first-time caller, long-time listener. All right. And I, I do need a gift certificate. <laughs> <laughs> you just... <laughs> you're on the air. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes. You're on the air. Another call? Hello? You're on the air. Hi. Hello? Yes. Hi, T-Man. Hi. How are you? That's it. <laughs> the T-Man. 